80 uh, with uh, Jordan Johnston kicking six goals. So it should be a good matchup today. I think in the day and age of um, obviously the migration of players congregating around the football, any time a haul of six goals or, or more, as we saw from Geordie Johnson a few weeks ago, clearly is a, a fabulous and that outstanding performance. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you don't, you don't see it uh, that often these days. So, yeah, hopefully you can see it today. Um, in the other game as well, uh, last week, um, Bacchus Marsh versus uh, Melton South. Uh, Bacchus Marsh losing uh, 15 7 97 to Melton South. 15 8 98. An absolute cracker of a match by one point. Um, Rex Hickman, though, kicked four goals, and Jake Owen with three uh, for ba- Bacchus Marsh. So we should look out for them today to kick bags of goals. Yeah, that was a really surprising result to me that Mountain South might get up. They got up by just the one point, uh, in, as you mentioned, was a cracker of a game. And well done to, to Mountain South. But Bacchus Marsh will be, I dare say, reeling from that. They have lost uh, an important player in their lineup today, uh, a calf injury sustained during the course of training during the week for Max Eastmuir. That's, uh, that's a blow, isn't it? What sort of impact will that have on Bacchus Marsh? What will that rob them of? I oh, will. Max Eastmere, he's, he's, he's got that dash, you know, he's, he's got the pace on the outside of the ball, he's a, he's a good uh, ball user, so um, yeah, it's going to affect them today, uh, Bacchus Marsh, and hopefully they can uh, fill it in. Not forgetting, of course, that at halftime we'll have a summation of the opening two quarters at the McCafe halftime break. And today is McDonald's hiring day. So if you would like to slip into a McDonald's before 6pm today and inquire about the possibilities of some employment with McDonald's, we invite you to do that. Earlier today, it was an emphatic victory for the home side, East Point, 17-17-109 to Bacchus Marsh, 4-3-27. So a dominant performance by the East Point reserve grade team. Yeah, yeah, very, very dominant. It was a, um, it was a good hit out. Um, and, yeah, you can just see that um, East Point have the depth um, in their lineup. So that uh, yeah, shows how um, strong they are across the two teams. Yeah, I, I suppose being such a successful side throughout those most recently completed seasons, 2018 and 2019, it, it sends a message to uh, players that maybe are moving into the area. We know that Ballarat uh, is, in effect, uh, a university town, uh, obviously Federation University out there on the highway and, um, and other tertiary institutions across the course of town. So a lot of people come from the Western District, from the certainly the Western side of the state, and maybe look to... Uh, further their education and so when new players come into the town they might be looking for a side that they sense is a a successful side clearly there's some really positive things happening here just as there are at all clubs but East Point obviously have got the the record on the board yeah I think once you get the formula going um, to win a premiership and as they have done twice um, yeah it draws kids to the club um, because they want nothing more than to win a premiership now, I know one of the things that you were particularly interested in was the um, outstanding ruck duel that we seem to uh, have uh, appearing on the horizon. Now, young Tom Brown up against a veteran in Paul... Uh, sorry, alongside a veteran in Paul Kodorenko, up against Daniel Burton, who, for a man that only stands about six foot three, is a really, really dominant around-the-ground ruckman. Oh, for sure. I mean, last week, absolutely dominated. What did he have? 14 clearances. Um a lot of, lot of hit outs as well so I think the most um, in the league last week so yeah really dominant and uh, hopefully today they can um, have a good duel we had our uh, McCullum McIntyre last week to entertain us with so uh, that was a good one wasn't it yeah very good uh, entertained us all day and um, yeah I reckon uh, yeah it could be another interesting match up today well of course this ground here at the Eastern Oval is steeped in history it was the venue for a 1992 World Cup cricket contest between England and Sri Lanka it was the apparently the only time in the history of Ballarat sport that the gates have actually been locked 13,037 people were shoehorned into this arena and we had the likes of Neil Fairbrother and also Ian Botham smacking balls over our commentary box right here as we stand and into the bowling greens behind us which was quite an extraordinary thing of course the the wicket running pretty much north-south and it was quite a spectacular event Uh, a little bit of history about the Eastern Oval, and as you can see from the stand to our right, Archie, uh, that was created long before you and I came into existence. Yeah, for sure. Oh, we, we love our cricket, man, you Wes, so yeah, just to have that uh, makes it um, every bit more special. Now, we know that there's lots of people joining us 
on the live stream and we we do extend a very warm welcome to everybody we hope we can provide a bit of entertainment for you i know that ash hetherington's down there in Docklands, and he will be tuning in he'll be watching he'll be loving the coverage uh to you ash we wish you all the very best and we know that you're going to be siding with east point but we just hope that we get to see a really spectacular contest between those two teams And, of course, we certainly won't be left in any doubt as to when the, su when the uh, respective quarters are finishing, Archie, because we're sitting right underneath the, uh, the siren here at the Eastern Oval. Oh, it's a little bit annoying. I think they could maybe upgrade to <laughs> more um, the, the new and improved, you know, more mellow sound. But, nah, it's all right. Um, yeah, it's good. We can hear the ticker when, the, um, when it's getting close to the end of the quarter. Yeah, that'll be uh, a little insightful for us. So... You can see over there the uh, the netball, which should be a, right, a really terrific contest between the, the Roos and the Cobras. Happening over to the west of where we're sitting right at the moment. The umpires are just about ready to call the respective teams in for the contest as Bacchus Marsh are actually starting to move into position right now. Really important contest because, you know, clearly these two sides, with Bacchus Marsh sitting just outside the five and... East Point sitting in third place. What we saw of Melton last week, I think it's going to take a mighty effort for any side in the Ballarat Football Netball League to actually get over the top of Melton. They were highly accomplished, weren't they? Yeah, well, I, I was speaking to a couple of uh, I was speaking to a couple of um, North Ballarat uh, and Melton fans, and they thought that um, if any team was going to beat them, it was going to be North Ballarat. So um, the fact that Melton um, dealt with them in the way they did it just shows that um, yeah, they're, they're going to be the um, the top of the competition and it's going to take an almighty effort for someone to beat them. Yeah, it's going to be a, a very, very interesting manner in which the season will unfold as we see players moving into position now. And it is going to be East Point going to the left of our screen and Bacchus Marsh to the right. So essentially... East Point going to the Bacchus Marsh end. The umpire holds the ball aloft, and it looks like Tom Brown up against Daniel Burton. Here's Archie Burley with the first of the call. Ball goes up here. Good throw. That was a Daniel Burton had possession. The ball gets squirted out now. Good hands there. Ball kicked long from Jackson Merritt, and it's a mark. Straight out of the contest. Just thrown on the boot, and the player was just in front. That's our Jordan man, Geordie Johnson. Johnson. He's had a great, um, he's had a great uh, season so far. What is he? 35 metres out, slide angle. Not a breeze out here. Comes in. Kicks, it looks good. It holds the line. What a goal. Straight away. We're not even a minute into the game. And Geordie Johnson kicks the first goal for East Point. That was good, wasn't it, Wes? Yeah, ideal start, obviously, for the Roos. Straight out of the middle, as you may have mentioned, Jackson Merritt was able to derive some, some really generate some penetration there with the kick, wasn't he? It looked like Burt was going um, to win the clearance. Um, as we mentioned last week, he had 14 of them, and he just, just couldn't get it on the boot. And yeah, well done from East Point. Um, and yeah, they turned the ball over. How's, how's Jordan Johnson's form? Last couple of weeks, he's booted 14 goals in two weeks and he started the opening minute of our game. So here's young Brown up against Burton again. Burton, once again, finds the ball in his hands and he's uh, not able to make clean connection with the kick. Opportunity for back a smash through the agency of Parente. Although it falls away of the pointers. They go inside 50 once again. Mark not taken. Sweeping across half-back, Nick's tool dryer, gets it across to a teammate, and the kick is smothered right in front of the scoreboard that says the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard, East Point, one straight six. Back of Smash yet to score. We have gone just over two minutes into the opening term of our Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Ball in now. Good hit from Burton. Gets it down. Scrappy in there. Oh, well done from Matt Johnson. Gets the ball forward, but kicks it out on the full. And, oh, it must have come off the player's foot. It's come off the Marsh's yeah, boot. Yeah, I think it's come off the Backus Marsh player's boot. And 
ball will come back. Is it coming back to Johnson? Don't mind. It's going to go long here. There's a couple of, couple of leads. Go short. Oh, leading out. Jordy Johnson gets over the head and well done in the hole from... What's Carver? Well, just... Uh, yeah, I couldn't see what play was. We've... Just turn around here. And that was good. They're just going to try and move it out slowly here with some short... Get to retain some possession after an early goal from East Point. Try and just settle it down. Kicks out in the wing here. Fixed up. Ball. Umpire says play on. There's already a bit of a scraffle on on the outer side. I think the umpire will sort it out and we'll have a ball in. 75 so metres out from... The East Point goal. Jack Williams wearing number six today, which just threw us temporarily. The ball thrown in. There's Burton taking it out of the ruck once again. Swings onto the left. Here's an opportunity. Opens up for Jake Owen. Moves the ball inside 50 now. It's a two-on-one situation, but East Point do very well there. Now the numbers flood back inside the Bacchus Marsh 50. Ferocious attack on the footy. Consecutive handballs, no clearance from the congestion, and the umpire says we'll have a ball up some 40 metres out from the Bacchus Marsh goal. One straight plays, no score on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Umpire throws the ball up between the big men, contesting inside the Bacchus Marsh 50. Quick snap around the body from Tom German. Doesn't travel any great distance or could have been thrown out of the pack. Umpire says it was OK. Kick towards goal for the Marsh, and it bounces, bounces, dribbles over the boundary line, five metres around from the Cobras scoring zone. They trail by six points as we approach the five-minute mark of our first term in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Ball in now. Front position from the Bacchus Marsh Ruckman. He fell to ground and East Point retained possession. Going through Jackson Merritt. Gets it back, hits the kick. It's dangerous across goal. Could be a turnover here. Oh, well done, and he gets the... He drops his knees and gets the high tackle there. That was Cam Loving. Finds a player on the outer side. They're going to try and switch the ball across, but it's going to be held up for the sec for a moment. Finds a player in the middle. It goes through the hands of Jack Jeffrey. And East Point just trying to surge the ball forward. Get it out now. Go long. Got a player on the outer side. That's jo That's Slater. It's the ball. Johnston wants it long. He wants the one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to give it to him. He's got about three to contend with. And he backs into the pack beautifully there. That was back as Marsh player. That was good courage. Go short. They're going to try and go quickly here. They've got the out if they want it. Goes long. That's a good fly there from... Quaid Butt, but the ball flies over the boundary line. It's a good contest so far. So once again, it is going to be young Tom Brown up against Burton. Burton double fists it down to the advantage of a teammate who is tackled but gets a little kick away. Now the marsh go forward in the direction of Jake Owen and the ball bounces, bounces over the boundary line and the umpire will come into effect some 55 metres around from the Bacchus Marsh scoring zone. So at different times, both sides have moved the ball forward with fluency, but there's been plenty of heavy contests as Brown and his opponent there in Burton wrestle again. Now the ball comes out to the favour of the Marsh. Couldn't get a handball away. Taken by Brown. He's wrapped up in a heavy tackle and says, I've got no opportunity. And the umpire agrees and says, we'll have a ball up. Some 60 metres out from the Bacchus Marsh, Bacchus Marsh scoring zone. They trail by six points. Burton and Brown in the ruck here. Yeah, I was well done. He came in late. Ball kick thrown on the boot towards Owen. Can he turn his man inside out? He keeps the ball in. But then the East Point player in Matt Johnston... Just gets taken over the boundary line, is it? Yep, we'll have a throw in. Oh, no, it's a free kick from the outer side from the back smash player. Hits a little kick. Umpire says not 15. He goes quickly inside the 50, and it was a good mark contested. He had two to contend with. 
And Aaron Willett takes the mark. What chance do you give him here, Wes? 20 metres out. <laughs> Should kick this straight between the big sticks. Goes back, kicks. Makes the goal umpire work a little bit, but he's kicked the goal straight through. Brings it to one goal apiece on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Eight minutes in, one goal apiece. Well, you can see this has got all the makings of a really enjoyable contest. Both sides going hard at it. Neither side pulling any punches. They're going harder in the knowledge that as we start to approach the midpoint of the season, every single win is critical. So Burton's got a new opponent now as Paul Kotarenko, the East Point veteran, goes in. And Kotarenko wins the ball to ground, taken by a teammate there in Ganley. The ball is out for East Point. They'll go inside 50 and the mark's taken. 45 metres out from goal. And the recipient there was Bryson McDougall. So, McDougall has Jackson Merritt running to his left. He ignores that. He places the mouth guard in the sock. Just wipes a bit of sweat from the face and says, I'm going to settle over the Sharon and kick to the eastern end of the Eastern Oval. He's going to have to kick from just outside 50. Scores level as we approach the 10-minute mark of our first term. In he comes now. McDougall, the shot on goal. He makes good connection, although it's going to fall just short juggling and not able to be held by the marsh on the line. It's over for just the one behind. And so on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard, it's East Point 117, leading the Cobras one straight six. We butt to kick out here, finds the target out wide, and they go inboard here. That was still drier. Looking, he doesn't know where to go. He's just going to try and pick something out in the middle. It's well turned over there from the East Point player. Puts his head over the ball. I think that was Matt Johnston. Great work there. He's been good early, Matt Johnston. As we know, Cobra's good early in games. He just is pummeled forward there. And the ball just... Can the East Point player pick it up? He does now. Tries to get the hands out to Jack Jeffrey. Jeffrey's parried off the ball and it's somewhere under there. We'll have a ball up. 45 metres out from East Point's goal. Ball up. Hold on from Burton. Hits it around the back. As Marsh win the ball, but oh, well turned over there from Jacob Brown. Puts it in. Can he hit Johnston? It comes off his hands. Now a chance for Matt Johnston. The brother. Is it a high tackle? No. He's taken on a couple and he's penalised, holding the ball. Max Marshall get the free kick here in the defensive pocket. The Marsh from the last line. They kick to the scoreboard side of the ground. The mark spilt, goes to ground. Tyson Shea was in there fighting hard. So too Parente and the umpire says a free kick and it's going to go the way of the ruse. So the ball's going to be straight back in to that eastern end 50. Just one point separating the two sides as we tick over the 11-minute mar mark of our first term in the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Running around, using the stand rule, kick on goal. Gee, it was a nice kick. Had plenty of carry there on that occasion from East Point. However, it's through to the right side for just the one point. East Point, 1-2-8, leading Bacchus Marsh, one straight six on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. 12 minutes gone, first quarter action in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Kicking in here, Marsh. They're going to go long down the line. Dougal, that was. Looking for Burton, it looks like. No. It's a good mark there from Owen. He's going to turn and go. I'd like to be on the end of this kick. Kicks it down. Good mark from Rex Hickman. They're going to go quickly. They've got runners over the top. Well done from German. And then they go inside, trying to hit up Willett again. And he's going to have a shot for his second from, oh, I'd say, 35 metres out. Tough angle, though. You're kicking from about 40. Oh, it's a much tougher shot, this one. Comes in. Slow approach. Kicks. Looks more like a centering kick. 
And Owen flies over the top as he taking the mark he has. The umpire says, go back and have a shot, son. And he will from 15 metres directly in front. Much the same as Willett's shot earlier. That was interesting, guys. Do you think he was going for the centre kick? or? Well, I don't think he was. I think it was just a bit of an up and under, and I think it right. fell fortuitously the way of back of Smash. But, gee, that was a good mark by Jake Owen. Quality player. He's been on fire the last few weeks. Jake Owen. 15 out. Comes in. He slots it. The, the Bacchus Marsh players get around in there. As he kicks their second goal. 1-2-8 to 2-0-12 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. This is the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Good tussle so far in this first quarter. Well, the ball was just locked in uh, East Point's 50. And as we see so often in the modern game, Wes, ball turns over and down the other end, the spread... Easy goal. So, Kotarenko sets himself against Burton. Ball to ground. Take away with the pointers. Ball out to Van Meel. Sends his side forward. Oh, Mark almost taken there on that occasion by McDougal. Ball goes to ground. Racing through there was Kenny. Now inside 50. Awkward bouncing footy. A terrible bounce there on that occasion for Geordie Johnston. Although, here's an opportunity. Worm burning kick. Great mark taken by the Ruse. Some 35 metres out from goal, despite the very desperate efforts of the Bacchus Marsh defenders there on that occasion. And an opportunity emerges for Jake Toolman to have a shot from pretty much directly in front. He'll kick from 35 metres out. And I would suggest that in the modern game of football at this standard, this is a bread and butter shot on goal. Toolman. Approaches to the eastern end of the Eastern Oval. His shot is gun barrel straight. The umpire does not have to work. And East Point have been returned to a two-point advantage. 2-2-14 two, two, over Bacchus Marsh. Two straight 12. And, of course, that is on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Kotarenko is going to line up against is that, I think Rex Hickman here. Middle, just trying to retrieve the ball. Might have gone over the fence there on that occasion. Well, that's the way to do it, Wes. Don't stab at it when you're in close. <laughs> always kick through the ball. Yes. He certainly did on that occasion, Jake Tormant. He's first for the game. He'll be looking to be as potent and dangerous as Geordie Johnston up forward. They've certainly got a number of options when they go forward, East Point. Definitely do. Kotarenko and Hickman here in the middle. Good tap from Kotarenko. Gets the ball again. Kicks long and on the lead. Taking the mark from Geordie Johnston. He's How good was that from oh. Paul Cotterico? Have a look at his teammates go to him now. He's returned to the lineup and he's been such a fabulous servant to the East Point Footy Club for such a long period of time. Definitely. When your big man does that, inspires everyone. As Geordie Johnston comes in for 35 metres, kicks. Makes the umpire work, but it goes over his head. He's kicked it. Good goal there. I think that um, I think Paul Cotterico can take some credit for that one. With his clearance out of the middle and then hitting him up. Great work from East Point. Are uh, we going to see a, uh, another goal-kicking spree from Geordie Johnson? 14 in the previous two rounds. He's got two in the opening term. Gee, he's a dangerous player. Very dangerous. 3-2-20 to 2-0-12 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. So Hickman continues his ruck duel now with Kotarenko, who uh, has got it by points at this moment, and he wins this one down to ground, although it's taken by the Marsh. Handball went to no one in particular, and a uh, little ducking and weaving by East Point. Now they're inside 50, courtesy of Jack Jeffrey on the lead, and they've got another one inside 50, and another set shot on goal to come. And Geordie Johnston, who's booted two already, can settle back over the Sheridan and kick his third the eastern end here at the Eastern Oval. He is 
proving a real headache for the back of Smash defenders. And he's such a beautiful kick of the footy. His side leads by eight points. He comes in now, steps over the 50-metre arc, kicks long. It's got a bit of right about it, and he misses to the right. So uh, that'll be a disappointing result for him. But, geez, looming as a real danger man as East Point move along to 3-3-21, leading the marsh two straight 12 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. If I was Daniel Veldon right now, I'd be manning up for all, for all sakes. He's just getting too much space. This is a good mark here on the outer side by Owens. He wants to move the football on through the middle. Picks the player. They want to go for the switch. He's out on the outer. It's Valden, as I was just speaking of. They keep running. Good. It's a little scrubbly kick. And he gets pushed off of the ball. It's a mark inside 50. It was It was Nick Stuhldreyer. Still dryer, And it was, interestingly, it was Riley Stuhldreyer kicking the nick. He got... Pushed after the kick. He wanted the free kick, but I don't think it mattered because his you know, brother marked the ball. Keep it in the family. Yeah, keep them. Definitely. Keep the family relations happy, well, I su suspect. Anyway, 45 metres out. Not an easy kick. He comes in, runs. It's a bit of a mongrel, but it was working and just holds the line on the last line. It's punched through from <coughs> East Point Football Club. And... 3-3-21 to... Oh, 3-4-21 to 2-1-13. As Jordy Johnston, he's up the ground now. Grabs the ball. He wants to move it on. Hits it. Oh, well done there. Hits Slater. Moving. They want to go out of the outer side. Kicks. Looking for Canny. And he hits McDougal. It was a good kick from Canny. Just put it out in enough space. We can run onto it. McDougal's got it, 25 out, maybe 30 out, and a reasonably tough angle. He's going to stay with the drop punt, though. I think they're reasonably deep pockets here at East Point, so I think that even a shot from an angle, you still get a bit of goal space to, to work with. Comes in now. Kicks. So right, just stabs it a little bit, and it's to the right side. The umpire signals behind. 3-4-22 to 2-1-13 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Well, East Point getting opportunities for shots on goal and maybe not capitalising. East Point perhaps being worked a little bit wide by the back of Smash defence as Quade Butts kick in, finds a man in the left back pocket, and he'll come back to Butt now. So he's pretty much back where he started, but doesn't have the opportunity to uh, to run on for that kick in. Now he spots a teammate further afield. Oh, had nine tenths of that. The umpire said, no, nah, that wasn't enough. Jack Jeffrey finds the man inside 50, and that's Jake Toolman. So Toolman, who kicked his first goal of the game at the 15-minute mark, some six minutes ago, will now settle back over the Sharon and seek to become the second multiple goal kicker for the Ruse to join... Jordy Johnston and Toolman, who has got the uh, talking cricket before the game, and he's got the Michael holding run up as he stretches way back towards the middle, but now he steps over the arc and he comes in now directly in front, kicks from 40. He well, just curled away to the left, and they're wasting opportunities up forward. East point, 3 5 23. They're now 10 point leaders over Bacchus Marsh, 2 1 13 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. We have gone. 21 and a half minutes into this first term. Butt kicks in now. He's going long. He's probably looking for Owens. He can't quite get there. Ball he comes out the back. As back as Marsh try to win possession. East Point doing well there. It's just, it's came back out and they're going to retain possession, East Point. As a bullet pass there. Great work from Jordy Johnson to mark that one. And he's going to line up for his third. He's 55 at... Oh, he's going to kick from 50. And it's not an easy kick. Geez, an exciting forward. Oh, isn't he? There's not a lot you could do there as a defender from Valden. As he comes in. Struts in and kicks. Gives it everything. It looks all right. I think it's there. It is. What a goal from Jordy Johnston. He's kicked three. He's definitely been the most dangerous forward up there. 
Every time he gets out on his own, he's just looking to mark the ball. He's coming up the ground. He's doing everything. After six goals last week and eight the week before, he's continuing on with his good form of three in this first quarter. Well, I don't want to overstate the importance of Geordie Johnston to the East Point lineup, but it takes me back to the era where Dan Jordan was just the marquee forward and obviously attracted lots of attention and was just quite spectacular in his approach to the footy. East Point 4-5, leads back a smash 2-1 as we see the big leap there on that occasion. Goes to ground, there's uh, Rodham Onus and eventually it spills out to the advantage of Jacob Brown who sends his side inside 50 and a juggling mark again! Oh, Johnston, what a player. He is proving a massive headache for the Cobras. He's been forced fairly wide with the lead on this occasion. But for a player that's not overly big, he looms as a terrific marking target up forward. He's going to kick from a fairly tight angle. And he's going to have to kick the Sharon from about 40 metres out. He comes in now. He's aiming for number four. He kicks on goal, and he kicks beautifully. It's the fourth for Johnston. East point, 5-5-35 now. 22-point leaders over Bacchus Marsh, 2-1-13. That's on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. And this is the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. And East Point have leapt away to a very handy lead as we approach quarter time. He's just getting too much space there. He, he, he accelerates, and they just can't keep up with him, Wes. It's, it's great to watch, and he's got... Um, hands as clean as a whistle as well. So, let's hope he keeps doing it. The Rucks go out of there. Good tap there from Tom Brown. This ball comes out. And Cam Lovey gets wrapped up in the tackle. Burton and Brown. Brown does well. Puts it down. It's wrapped up again. Good tackle there. From Harrison King. Just in the middle of the ground. As Brown and Burton battle it. Great work from Burton. Hits it over the top. Good ha fast hands there. Could have been a throw when it was. Picked up. Well picked up from the umpire there. East Point want to go quickly. But the umpire wants the ball back. He doesn't know why. It's a different player is going to take the ball. So they're going to bring it back. I think the wrong player took yeah, the kick. I think yeah, that was okay. what the issue was. It's now Tolman. It's going to go wide. Ganley. He just gets in a little bit of trouble there and gets tackled. The ball gets turned over. They're going to take the advantage through the middle. I don't know if that was the right call. Handball back to Shea. Kick there. They're looking out wide. And it's a good mark there taken from... Tyler Hun. Hun. Out in the pocket there. Good vision. They just took the advantage there. They knew they had the break on him and found an open man on the far side. Another shot from this similar pocket. 25 out. Bit of angle to contend with. Kicks. He stabs it a little bit and it's gone across the far side for a behind. But it's 5-5-35 five, five, to 2-3-15 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Ballarat Toyota match of the day. So East Point moving on very quickly, although their haste has actually caused their undoing on this occasion as Burton has marked just the offensive side of the centre circle. His side in arrears by some 21 points as we approach quarter time. Burton, a left footer, kicks to that left forward pocket, but it's the ruse with numbers back. And they will mark inside defensive 50 Calling for the switch, Jake Toolman. I'm not sure that his teammates quite got the legs to carry that one. Jacob Brown takes the mark, some 45 from defensive goal. 5-5 five, five plays 2-2. Two, two. Brown. Chip kick. Headed towards Cam Lovick. Ball fisted away, but East Point very good at ground level, thanks to Geordie Taylor. Ball kicked towards the offensive side of the centre square, but it's good work by Bacchus Marsh, who've clearly got numbers back on this occasion. They want to move the ball very quickly, and they do so thanks to Harrison King. Kicks towards half forward, fisted away from Rex Hickman. Good defensive work on this occasion by East Point. The ball over the line. East Point, 5-5, 35, lead Bacchus Marsh, 2-2, 14 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. 
We have gone 27 and a half minutes into our first term. Ball in. Burton and Brown. Burton gets the hit out here. Good. Oh, well done. That was German. Puts a long high ball. And what a mark. Going back with a flight there from Matt Johnston. There was a lot of courage shown there. He couldn't quite see what was coming. And he just went back and backed the calls. The kick wasn't as good, though. It's turned over. Well done from the back of Smash player there. It goes to Cott. He, the ball gets turned back over, and that's Jack Jeffrey. Kicks. Looking. Good mark from McDougal. Looks up. Where's Johnson? That's what we're all looking for. Ball down to him. Two to contend with. Gets over the back. Well rove there, and the goal is kicked from Rodimer Onus. What a goal from Makeda. He did that well. The... the, uh, the um, Backus Marsh defender, they, two of them both went to uh, to Geordie Johnston, and that's what happens, Wes, when a forward's on fire, uh, he draws players to the ball, and Rodema Onus got out on his own, kicked the goal in the end. It was good, good play from him. Well read. Yeah, well described there on that occasion, Archie, because that is exactly what happened. They were so Johnston conscious, because he's kicked four already, and they were just so... Uh, alert to the danger that he presented that they failed to maybe draw on their resources to, to cover Makita Rotoma Onus. The ball fisted away now. We're back in the middle. It's 6 5 41 plays 2 2 14 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Ballarat Toyota match of the day. And the umpire calls for a secondary ball up. So it's Burton and the young fella from East Point taken by Brown on this occasion. And uh, he has grabbed... In fact, the umpire says the tackle slipped a little low on that occasion, so the free kick's going to go the way of Jacob Brown. I suspect that Bacchus Marsh think that the free kick's theirs, but unfortunately for them, it's not. And now East Point have an opportunity to contribute to this 27-point advantage as the siren sounds. So the ball was headed to guess who? Geordie Johnson, who's kicked four. And there we have it, the end of the first term, East Point 6-5, 41, leading back us Marsh 2-2-14 in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day. It's a 27-point advantage. Jordy Johnston has four goals. Jake Toolman has one. And Makita Rotoma Onus has also kicked one goal. Willits and Owen, the goal kickers for Bacchus Marsh. But where it was a very even contest across the course of the first 20 minutes or so, it was the last three goals that went the way of East Point that obviously opened up this advantage that sees that at quarter time, East Point, the home side, the reigning Premier from 2018 and 2019, the last two completed seasons in the McDonald's Ballarat Football Netball League, lead in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day. We'll be back for the second quarter action in just a few moments' time. As proud sponsors of the Ballarat Football Netball League, we love supporting local. And love community sport, and we encourage everyone to get out there, support your local football and netball league, and of course, support local business.
Welcome back to the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. East Point 6541 leading Bacchus Marsh 2214. You can't help but think that Bacchus Marsh is missing the inside grunt of Max Eastmuir. He was obviously outstanding last week. 15 contested possessions, 12 oh, tackles, tackles, Archie. Yeah, yeah, he was dominant last week. They're really missing his um his grunt on the inside. So, yeah, let's see if they can, uh, can make it up. Um, well, particularly as the likes there. of some of these key forwards for... And, like, and not overly tall key forwards in Jordy Johnston. You can nearly, like, nearly chuck him on Jordy Johnston. He probably wouldn't have a goal at the moment. So, yeah, dig out there. Here we go. Second quarter action in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Here's Archie Burley. Burton and Moder uh, Kotarenko on the ruck there. That was one uh, well won there by uh, Stool Dryer. Goes long for Marsh. Well rove there. Kicked out of the pack from Hoon. And, and it's out of bounds. I think it might be a... Th no, it's out of bounds on the full. So we'll have um, the East kicking in from deep on the last line. Uh, Lovig's going to kick here. Bit of movement. Might go for the switch. Running around is Carson. I don't think he's going to go there. He's, he's looking long down the line. He's going to go for it. Who's down there? He's looking for the big... Oh, a couple of big flies there. I think Brown was one of them. Handball's out. Gets out. Can they get a quick transition? That was Jackson Merritt overrunning the ball. Goes forward. Ball gets out the back now. East East Point. Oh, hands. And it's going to come to contest. And Jordy Johnston can't even get the ball out. So it's not going to come out. We're going to have a ball up 85 metres out from the East Point's goal. So Burton and Kotarenko to go at it. One by Burton, his back smash teammate, immediately wrapped up in the tackle by Jackson Merritt. We'll have another ball up. Well, what a quality player Jackson Merritt is to have a player of his ilk with 50-plus games in the AFL running around for East Point. There's Burton, cleverly. Handball out to the advantage of King, although unfortunately King was a little hasty in moving past the contest there on that occasion. Although the ball's out, and it's going to go the way of back a smash. So perhaps it came off a, an East Point foot. So here we go, the Marsh. They want to switch, and they do so. Now coming out wide to the commentary side of the ground. The mark's taken by Culliver. Coming out even further and finding Jack Williams. Williams, oh, almost running over the mark there was Tom Brown. Williams, always oh, kick. The mark was spilt there on that occasion by Parente, and that opens the door for East Point. They won't need many opportunities. The mark taken by Johnston moved on very quickly by hand to Jacob Brown. He sends his side towards centre half forward. Awkward bouncing footy for Bryson McDougall. He takes it. He's dispossessed. Gathered by Liam Canney. He's driven into the turf and the umpire says did not dispose adequately and it's going to go the way of Bacchus Marsh at centre half back. Some 40 metres from defensive goal. German with that free kick. He hits up Harrison King there goes long down the line looking for Rex Hickman, but the ball trickles out of bounds and it might have gone out of bounds in the full. So East Point are going to bring it back in here. Far side of the ground. Pretty true to the wing there. And he's going to run. He had Brown present after him. He didn't like that, so he's going to go longer. And that's a good mark there, an intercept from the Marsh player. He sees the switch on. This is through Culliver. Marks it all. It was Oof. tough. He had, um, he had Carlisle Marks coming at him, and he did well. Now Marsh on the on the rebound. That's Willits. He's got to go to his name. Doesn't have a lot. A few leads. He wants to go close, just in front of us here. Trying to go to Owen. Can't take the mark. The umpire says, give it here. Just in front of us in the commentary box. Just looks like they're struggling to find options here, Bacchus. I mean, they're just, just gonna, they're slowing the game down a lot. Tap there from Burton. Now, hands out. It was classy from Johnston. Ball long. Oh, and that's a good mark there from LaFranchi. And there will be a 50-meter <laughs> penalty. I think he stepped over the mark. It could have been for descent. He's run the 50. Oh, it's a short 50. In front of him, yeah, unlucky. Now long from Culliver. Looking for Owens, but he gets he gets hit after the kick. He gets pushed over. I think, you know, 
who's that? I think it's is it Jack Jeffrey who's causing all the trouble out there? Was on that occasion, yeah. so he, I think he, he might have been involved in the fifty as well, and then he. Oh no! In fact, might be Brown yeah, there Brown, on that occasion. Yeah. We it's we might Brown. have falsely accused Jack yeah, Jeffrey. Yeah, all good. Sorry, Jack. Anyway, comes in here. This is Hickman, thirty-five. They need this goal, Bacchus, and they kicked it. Brings the scores to six five forty one three two twenty, with two minutes fifty five gone on the. Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Ballarat Toyota match of the day. and They needed that goal, didn't they, Wes? It didn't matter how they got it. Well, you described the, the fact that they were lacking options. And when they had the ball out here on the commentary side of the ground, you just felt that they, they really were a little poor on the options available to them. They ultimately went up the line. Didn't really amount to very much apart from a contest. Ball rebounded back then. When they started to switch the play, they were able to move the ball through the corridor, which was what they were seeking to achieve, and they get the end result. They trail by 21 points now as Burton prepares to go up against Kotarenko. Kotarenko fists it to his team's advantage. Bouncing footy, bursting through the pack, heavily tackled, taken on this occasion by Culliver. Up the chimney with the kick. Ball fisted away at ground level now. Massive players around the footy. The marsh ridden into the turf, called the play on. This is Meeson, He's dispossessed. Now an opportunity for Jack Jeffrey. Now Liam Canny, inside 50, good work defensively by the Marsh, called to play on. This is Jack Williams, Williams out wide to the outer side of the ground as the Marsh shaped to eat into this 21-point deficit. They've got the first goal of the second term in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Oh, the kick's not great because it goes only so far as Kotarenko, who just comfortably marks, says, I'm more than happy to receive footy on the footy on that those terms. Kick towards the midfield. Heavy couple of contests there. Now a kick forward by the Marsh and a free kick's paid and we're going to bring the ball back to just the outer side of the centre square and one of the Bacchus Marsh players is a little bit sore from that contest and they are going to be the recipients of the free kick and Bacchus Marsh will go forward. They currently trail and it's in the possession of Xavier Jenks. Jenks goes wide. They're still struggling for options here. Just going to chip it around. See if they can, something opens up. Goes to the kick. There's a little bit too much on it. East Pointer well set up behind the ball. Oh, that was well done from Tom German to get the hands out. And there's a quick kick. And well done from Aaron Willits. He's got the, um, he's got the, the shot from 45 out here. And it was just a surge ball inside. He's thinking about playing on. I don't know if he has the distance. He's already got one today. Yeah, it's a surge ball and just a bit of and now he goes to the pass and it's a nothing kick and he's kicked it out of bounds on the full. Obviously not confident with the distance there was. Yeah, that was a disappointing result from Willits, wasn't it? Yeah. We know that he can kick a whole lot better than that. Worst case scenario, put it to the top of the square. Anyway, here you go East Point. That was good from Cam Loving. Gonna go long. Looking f for Kotarenko and coming through was Canny. Chip short now. This is Dodd. Looking in the middle. Johnston lurking long. Leading up Slater. He ignores that and goes to Johnston and Jeffries there as well. They handball out. That's what's creative. Oh, oh a big hit there from Ruda McCunis. Ooh. Ruda McCunis. Oh, and he's throwing him onto the ground. It's all up in an ear. Ruda Moronis has just flattened him. Flattened Cray. And now we get the free kick. There's a bit in this game. Holding his back. He came off second best there. Here goes Cray. Goes along. Wants to take him on. Still gets it back for the second. Well done. Oh, Ruda Marunas wants him here and he gets him. Oh, and he's given the high tackle. <laughs> the home crowd aren't happy about this and he's got him by the legs. He's got to focus on the game here as Marsh decides to get a move on. Culliver goes long looking for Owen's ball. Out the back. And it's another free kick. It's going to go the way of Bacchus Marsh. And the Cobras, it's going to go the way of Owen's. And he's going to have a shot from... 
40 metres out. It's just, they're getting a little bit undisciplined here, East Point, aren't they, Wes? They don't need to be doing it. And they're 21 points up. If anything, Bacchus Marsh want East Point to join in in the um, undisciplinary acts here because it's just, it's getting, giving them a sniff, getting them back into the game. A few free kicks that weren't needed. Anyway, coming in here, here's Owens. 45, oh, 40 metres. Kicks and drags it to the left side. It's disappointing because they needed that goal back as Marsh. They've worked hard here. 6-5 plays 3-3. Three, three. All the scoring with Bacchus Marsh to this point in time, although they're not really capitalising. And there's Makita as he takes the mark. Rotoma Onus moves it on very quickly. Good transition of the football. And guess who he finds? JJ Geordie Johnston. See, he's a really good quality player. Rotoma Onus when he moves the ball fluently like that. And that was a very rapid transition for East Point. They're looking to build on this 20-point advantage. The quarter time spread of some 27 points was a game high and JJ, if he can kick his fifth, will extend it out to 26 points. He comes in now, just a slight angle. He crosses the arc, kicks on goal and he misses to the right. Just the one behind. East Point move along to 6-6-42. 21 point leaders over Bacchus Marsh, 3-3-21. Three, three, in the Ballarat Toyota match of the day, this is the Ballarat Toyota Match of the day for the McDonald's Ballarat Football Netball League. Wade Butt kicking in. Wants to go to Owens. He's up the ground this time. Him and Burton are there. Ball off hands. Well done. Over the top now to Burton. They kick. There's a few. That's Kotarenko getting back. Gets crunched going back with a flight of the ball. Good courage there. Bacchus Marsh retain possession as they go. Try and go forward. There's a few players involved. One of them being Harrison King on the bottom of that pack. And they're getting some... At least they got some quick ball movement there, Bacchus Marsh. They're starting to claw their way back into this contest. Kotarenko with the hit there. Oh, he gets crunched. That was... That was... That was uh, Shea on the bottom of that pack. And he goes longer. Owens is there. Doesn't not going to get to him, and uh, that's a disappointing result. That's Mitch Walsh getting back there. Kicks down the line to McDougal. He wants to go. Gives the hands off. Running down. Kicks. Oh, Johnson went to the market. He couldn't grab that. He tries for the second effort, and it's oh, he's given a free kick away. That was uh, Toolman giving an unnecessary free kick away. That. Being undisciplinary here, East Point, goes long down, Owens is there, behind, can't take the mark, that's Walsh, handball over, well just possessed, oh this man's got all the space on his own, this is, right. might be Meeson I suspect, yeah, wearing a different number, Yeah. and they hit up, oh Ashton Craig, Ashton Craig, Craig it is. Number 56, Aston Craig. Like King is on the end of this. He looks a little bit so looks sorry. East Point crowd and interchange bench being very vocal just in front of us as Harrison King comes in from 35 metres out on a tough angle, just to say. Kicks, it looks all right. It's fading though and it, it, it never, never really gave it a chance there. And it's out of bounds. East Point kicking in. So Harry Ganley has to go and retrieve his own footy. 6-6-42, his side in command, 3-3-21. Three, three, 13 minutes have travelled in this Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Pointers, long kick, high flying, mark not taken. There's Burton, tries to get boot to ball. Taken away by McDougal. Now from half back, kick towards midfield. Half volley there for Johnson. It was a difficult pick up. Spinning through the pack was Riley still dry. The ball comes out to the commentary side of the centre square. Mark taken by Aaron Willits. Willits, devoid of options right at the moment, and he's forced to go further wide to Jaden Cott. 
who marks still on centre wing. Cott, a left footer, worm-burning kick. Kept it nice and low for Rex Hickman, although good defensive work by the pointers. Now the foot race is on. Racing towards it is Jordan Taylor. So too, JJ Jordan Johnston. Ball goes to ground. Good work by Johnston. Tries to flick it out to the advantage of Jordan Taylor. There's Rotomar to Onus. Rotomar Onus. Clever work with a looping handball over the top to Joe Dodd. Dodd swings onto the left. Kick towards a one-on-one contest. Second in line there was Bryson McDougall. And so Bacchus Marsh do well to work it out towards defensive 50. And now they take possession on half back. And the kick towards centre wing, a three-on-one situation. And that was probably a pretty good result there on that occasion for Rex Hickman to see the ball over the line because the numbers were all with East Point, who lead by 21 points midway through this second quarter. Nomination for the ruck here. It looks like Brown and Burton are going to go at it. Brown down, Burton tried to grab it, Brown went for the hit, it's someone on the bottom of that pack and he's given the free kick, it'll be <coughs> one here by Shea, they go long, he gives it off to Culliver, he's looking for Owens, he can't quite, no, what a defensive mark there, that was really well done by Owens' opponent, you got to move it on, they've got men on the outer side, this is Jackson Merritt, he's got some space in front of him. The ex-AFL and Peel Thunder player goes long. Oh, with Burton behind the ball. That was beautifully done on Brown. He just held his ground. They're running through. Stool dryer. They're going to try and switch on the outer side. They've got a running player. That was... And he can't get it to him. 20... Mm. Parente. Looks up. Looking for Owens. He's going to give himself... A chance here. He goes out the back. He had three to contend with. Can't quite. Now, East Point trying to get it. Oh, but well done. That was uh, Porter. Ball goes forward. Owens can't take the mark. Still a chance for Backers Marsh. They need a goal here. East Point just throw it on the boot. This can come back. Rotom Onus does well. Just wants to hold play up and find someone. Now they're out. They've got Slater in the middle. Handballs off to... Uh, to Jeffrey. Looks, he's got Johnston. JJ Jordy Johnston on the outer side. He's got two to beat. He just swings it on the boot. He's got men back and Brown can't take the mark. Now turns around, kicks, and it's gone through. There's a goal to Tom Brown. Well done from JJ Jordy Johnston. Just wheeled around on his right boot. As we, me and Wes talked about before, that's the, uh, the Jordy Johnston effect. Three players went to him. He had men over the top. Well done from Tom Brown. 7-6, 48 to 3-3-21 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. This is the Ballarat Toyota match of the day between East Point and Bacchus Marsh. I'll tell you what, East Point's transition from defensive 50 is absolutely superb. When they move the ball, they just are able to create a bit of lateral movement and offer options for their teammates moving the ball forward. Here's Brown back in the middle now, up against Burton. No clear, decisive winner there on either occasion. Taken by Merritt, sweeping handball out to the favour of a teammate who's immediately wrapped up in the tackle of Tom German. And the umpire says we'll have a ball up. 48 plays 21, 18 minutes have travelled in this Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Cracking contest, very enjoyable to watch. Burton fists it forward, taken almost by Lubbock. He's dispossessed, and then the ball to ground, and we'll have another ball up. Ground in absolutely superb condition. Lovely autumnal day here in Ballarat. No fear of uh, rain, one would suspect, with despite the fact that there's a few clouds overhead. Well done, Rotom Onus moves it on quickly by hand. Loving sends it forward by foot. Good mark by Johnston. Terrific hands. He wants to move it on. The umpire now calls to play on. Oh, he's got a couple of blokes to contend with. A real worm-burning option there was Liam Canny. He eventually gets his kick away, but the umpire said you had an opportunity. You were spun around, and despite the fact that he ultimately got his boot to ball, he concedes a free kick. 48 plays, 21, 19 minutes travelled. Bacchus Marsh goes through the middle here. They want to go quickly. This is Stool Dryer. Looks up. Doesn't have much ahead of him. Has a couple of short options and he hits. It has to be pinpoint with a kick and he is to his brother, Nick Stool Dryer. Now they go wide. They've got a couple of options here. German grabs the ball. 
kicks. They're looking, and there's a, it's all East Point back here. Oh, the ball's off hand. Cam Loving and Dallas Martin should have taken that mark. They're out here. They're going to go quickly. Finds a man on the outer side. They'll just hold the ball up for the second, in a minute, and go short to Kotarenko. Just going to chip it around, trying to go short over the top. That was Geordie Slater. Go through the middle. This is Canny. A couple of handballs. That's Merritt. Goes, looking for Johnson. He's got two on him to compete with. Can't, gets the ball in front. That's well done. That's Rotomonas. Kicks long towards goal, and it's faded. Just to the left side. That's a point. Well done from Rotomonas to get to the front of that pack. 7 7 49 East Point to 3 3 21. Backus Marsh on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. This is the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. He's a really exciting, powerful player, Nikita Rotomonas. Kick straight up the middle on this occasion from back of Smash. Ball goes to ground, and now they've turned it over. Streaming forward. The shot on goal is well wide by the Ruse. And that was a disappointing result there on that occasion. I think Jeffrey had more time than he thought there. In now from Bacchus. Go short and find LaFranchi. Crowd screaming at him. They're going to go sh one shorter again. Dangerous kick. This is still drier. Looks up. Gets Harrison King. Are they going to go on the outer side? That's Burton. Does a lot of work around the ground, doesn't he, Burton? Oh, yeah. Great, great player around the ground. 14 clearances last week. He wants to take it on through the middle. Rolls onto his left. And the ball trickles out of bounds. He was in two minds there, Burton. Whether to go... Up the boundary line or go through the middle, and he did neither. And the ball will have a ball up 80 metres out from Bacchus Marsh's goal. Commentator curse there. I gave him a big rap, and he, his kick didn't really hit the target. Here's the young Brown up against Burton. Fisted away and straight back over the boundary line. The East Point players appeal for a free kick. And the umpire says yes. So there we have it. It's going to go the way of Jackson Merritt. So the fist from the ruck contest straight over the boundary line and here's Jackson Merritt at left half back. His side in command by 28 points. That's a game high lead. It was 27 points at quarter time. So the Marsh have held them up ever so slightly. Kick towards centre wing. Big leap on this occasion. Second in line was Matt Johnston. Fisted the ball over the line. We'll have a ball thrown in on the... Opposite side of the ground to which we're commentating from. East Point 7-7-49. Lead back a smash 3-3-21 on the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Burton and Brown in the ruck here. Burton probably wins the tap. Ball into the middle of the ground. Oh, East Point winning it again. They just got to get it out. Jeffrey there trying to lay the tackle. They can't. It's not in possession of either team here. Just kind of trickling about. That's Johnston. Matt. Ball through the middle. Hands off here. Now, that's Dodd. Can't quite get through. And the umpire says, I'll throw it up. 75 metres out from East Point's goal. Geordie Johnston's isolated in the 50. There's only one other East Point player. And he's got two to contend with. Means they've got a free somewhere around the ball here. Running it. That's Liam Canny going at the ball. But it gets out. And it will trickle out of bounds. That was... Good effort from, I think it was, oh, it's a bit of Tallman. Just two goals this quarter. One to Hickman for Bacchus Marsh and Brown kicked one for East Point. So the margin sits at 28 points separating the two sides. Brown and Burton go at it again. The uh, more seasoned Burton edges his opponent off the footy but doesn't really take advantage of an opportunity to take possession. East Point do and they're immediately wrapped up in the tackle. We're ticking towards the 24-minute mark of our second quarter in the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Coming up, our McCafe halftime break. As the umpire throws it up between the Ruckman once again. Palmed away on the left there by Burton. Ball at ground level. East Point, quick kick out of the pack. Here they go forward once again. East Point, it's a two-on-one situation. Outnumbered on that occasion, Johnston. That off obviously means that East Point might have a spare man, but the ball shuffled over the boundary line right in front of the social rooms here at the Eastern Oval, where the East Point faithful are clearly enjoying this advantage held by their team. 7-7-49 plays, 3-3-21.
We have gone 24 minutes into the second quarter. Be watching Jordy Johnston here. Get on the end of this. He's dangerous around the ball. And it's punched out on the boundary. And that's Meeson there who carried the ball out. It's a good contest here. Ball in. Burton and Brown. Burton probably wins the tap. But there's hands given through. Is that... That was McDougal, and he's given hold on the ball. Good tackle from Williams, and descent. So we'll have a 50 metre penalty. There's been a bit of that from East Point. They've got to put it away. They've got the lead. I think Jeff. he was just asking if, uh, if if this is the distance that I'm needing to move back. But the umpire said no, move back 50. No good. Now it goes long. Can't find the. Oh, it's at the bottom of the pack, and he just he just had to find someone there. He didn't. That was Jack Williams. And we're 35 metres out from Bacchus Marsh's goal. Different personnel on the ruck this time. Ball, East Point out again. Oh, well done. I think that's Brown. He kicks long, trying to go out. Jordy Johnson up the ground. He's got a free man on his own if he can get it to him. It's Kotarenko and he takes it. Oh, he drops the chest mark. Gets the hands back up to Toulman. Toulman loses the ball. Now Kotarenko again. Back to Toulman. Kotarenko, can he kick the goal? He needs to. Cart. Rodan Makunas is there. And oh, guess the East Point player marks it. No more than 10 metres out. Should be... Geordie Slater. That was well done. It was, a, it was well done from Geordie Johnson. Got up the ground, saw Kotarenko. Couldn't quite take the mark. He went back and got it. And they're going to have a shot from 10 metres out. Here comes Slater. This is bread and butter. Kicks it. And the East Point locals get up and about right there. It's his first senior goal. As you see, they all run to him. <laughs> well done there. That's 8.755 to 3.321 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. This is the Ballarat Toyota match of the day between Bacchus Marsh and East Point here. And East Point having the ascendancy going at half time. Yeah, they sure do. They have extended the quarter time advantage of 27 points out to 34 points. So it's been a, a relatively even term with goals to Slater and Brown for East Point. Bacchus Marsh, their first goal came at the five minute mark of the second term. It came from Hickman. Here's Kotarenko up against Burton, who continues to do the bulk of the ruck work for Bacchus Marsh, whereas we've seen East Point effectively move their uh, two ruckmen through the course of the second and first and second quarters. Here's Rodema Onus. He moves. The ball inside 50, it was a, it was a well-intended kick there on that occasion for Johnston, but what happened was the Cobras had front position and as a consequence they beat Johnston to the footy and so the mark's taken by Jack Williams. He moves it sideways and finds Riley Stooldryer with a real up and under kick, kicks to a one-on-one. Cotarico has the height advantage there over Tom German. But uh, ultimately, East Point do it well at ground level. Here's an opportunity as they go inside 50 once again. The long kick towards goal. It's a one-on-one. Mark spilt. Ball goes to ground. Shuffled over the boundary line some 15 metres around from the scoring zone. We will have a throw in. in the Deep in the second quarter. 28 minutes of travelled. East Point, 8-7-55. In command by 34 points over Bacchus Marsh, 3-3-21. Need to hold on here. Bacchus Marsh can't afford another goal. Burton slaps it down. They just throw it on the boot and try and get it out of there. This is Hoon. And they're going to go wide. They've got a man free. That's Stool Dryer. Links up with hands. And there's the siren. They've held on. East Point, 8 7 55 to Bacchus Marsh, 3 3 21 uh, at half time. And the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. This is the Ballarat Toyota match of the day.
Well, so far, we have seen a very engaging and entertaining contest, despite the fact that East Point have opened up a 34-point advantage at the main break. They lead by 27 at quarter time, as I mentioned earlier. They kicked six goals to two in the first term. They kicked two goals to one in the second quarter. Geordie Johnston kicked four first-quarter goals and looked like he was going to tear this game apart. But I think Bacchus Marsh have shut him down well. But I think, as we mentioned too, Archie, is that the situation emerges sometimes where Bacchus Marsh get a little bit too Geordie Johnson conscious and uh, uh, perhaps just open up opportunities for other East Point forwards. Yeah, well, that, they may be uh, closing down Geordie Johnston, but they're giving so many other players opportunities now. Um, and even in that quarter when Geordie Johnston wasn't kicking goals, he, I think he set up uh, probably two or three. He, he had one over the top to Brown. Um, and, yeah, he's, he's just... he's bringing other players into the game, which is um, which is what you want as a forward if you're not kicking goals. So, yeah, great work from Geordie Johnston there. So just before we take the McCafe halftime break, just a reminder that at quarter time it was a 27-point advantage to the home side, East Point. And at halftime they lead by 34 points on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. 8-7-55 plays Bacchus Marsh. 3321 and of course don't forget that today is McDonald's hiring day if you are interested in becoming engaged employed and learning some fabulous work skills head along to McDonald's they will be happy to hear your story and hopefully give you the opportunity to learn from some of the best McDonald's before six o'clock today it is hiring day head along there and of course uh, maybe have our game on your phone or on your tablet or something so that you don't miss any of the action because we'll be back on the other half of our McCafe halftime break with the second half of action in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard 8755 East Point Bacchus Marsh 3321. As proud sponsors of the Ballarat Football Netball League, we love supporting local. And love community sport, and we encourage everyone to get out there, support your local football and netball league, and of course, support local business.
Welcome back to the McDonald's Ballarat Football Netball League Ballarat Toyota Match of the Day. I'm Wes Cusworth, joined by Archie Burley. And the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard tells a fairly significant story to the favour of East Point. It's the Ruse 8-7, 54 point leaders over Bacchus Marsh, 3-3-21. Let's look to uh, other games, and we can see that the game between Ballarat and Dali, and it's Ballarat leading 46-29, Melton... And the Lakers, 64, plays 29. Sunbury, 31, lead Redan, 17. Melton South trailing Sebastopol, 66 is Sebas and Melton South, 31. So some pretty interesting score lines to this point in time. Not forgetting, of course, that North Ballarat Roosters have the bye this round. And I was only talking uh, off air, Archie, about the fact that I reckon Melton versus East Point would make for a cracking contest, and I believe that they actually meet next week. Oh, it should be a ripping contest, Wes. Um, we were commentating the Melton game last week, and they look like the team to beat. And East Point today, showing what they can do. So, yeah, can't wait for it. And if you've just joined us, Geordie Johnston kicked four first quarter goals. He looks on track to uh, haul, have another haul today. He has teammates kicking goals in Tom Brown, Jake Toolman, and Geordie Slater. And we have three individual goal kickers for the Cobras, Rex Hickman, Jake Owen, and Aaron Willits. The third quarter is about to get underway here at the Eastern Oval. And with a 34-point advantage entering the third quarter, here's Archie Burley. Kotaranko and Burton. Kotaranko wins the tap. That's the Jackson Merritt. He goes forward. Looking for Geordie Johnston. JJ Geordie Johnston gives the hands off to Brown. Brown with the outside foot. Banana trying to bend it back. Can't quite. And Johnston couldn't mark the ball. It gets fisted over the line. And Butt will bring it back in. I want to go quickly here. Goes up the line. Looking for... Is it... Might be King. Yeah, King. Harrison King. Go long down the line again to Owens. He pushes his opponent in the back. And the umpire saw it. East point. Get back possession. They can go through the middle of the ground. They decide to just go back to where they came from. Geordie Johnson with a fist from behind. Johnston there as well. Bacchus Marsh trying to hold on and get the ball out. A couple of linked to handballs. That was good from Harrison King. They go long. Oh, big contest there. And the ball gets... Uh, parried over the boundary line. Well done from the East Point defender. So the ball will be thrown in on centre wing. Kotarenko sets himself to go up against Daniel Burton. Palmed away on with the left by Burton. Ball at ground level. Dispossessed of the footy. Pack forms over the Sharon and we'll have a, another ball up on centre wing, outer side of the ground. 56 Plays 21. Sizable advantage enjoyed by East Point at the moment. A lot of work for Bacchus Marsh to do. They're certainly missing Max Eastmuir, who, as we discussed earlier, sustained a calf injury during the course of the week at training last week, had 15 contested possessions and 12 tackles. And I reckon um, they might be missing a bit of the in-and-under type work that he might be able to present. Kotarenko fists the ball away to his team's advantage. LaFranchi overruns the football. In fact, he was forced over the footy. Eastport inside the 50, the 101. The foot race is on. Here's Valden. Leads his rival in JJ to the footy and happy to see the ball over the line for a rushed behind. The margin stretches to six straight kicks. 8-9-57 plays 3-3-21. But to kick the ball in. He's been going to that far side nearly every time he kicks in. He goes there once again, looking for Burton. It's good mark. He gets to the front and gets his hands out, and then he wants to move it on quickly. This is Strudelotter. Goes wide, onto the wing, in front of us in the commentary box. It's a good tackle, and Bacchus Marsh retained possession. That was through Culliver. Now they go short kick. This is Strudelotter again, working hard. Back to his brother. Now they go. They've got options in the middle of the ground. He's got a man out. Owens, he's got to beat a couple. Was his arm held? 
The umpire says play on. He was about to blow his whistle and we'll have a ball up 35 metres out from the back of Smash Goal. The stool dryer, boys, the number of times that they find one another is quite yeah, extraordinary, right, isn't it? Is. Keep it in the family, Wes. Ball up. Well done from Owens. Gets a hit forward. Back of Smash is trying to surge this ball forward. There's a couple of... He's got to throw it on the boot. And it's stuck at the bottom of the pack. They're appealing the East Point fans and they're not going to get it. And we move all of five metres towards the East Point goal. Ball thrown up. Kotarenko up against Burton. Fisted away. Opportunity for the Marsh. Feigns to handball. Then kick towards the top of the square. Opportunity for Bacchus Marsh. The umpire's whistle goes. There's a hold. And the free kick. Which way is it going to go? In fact, it's going to go the way of East Point and the recipient will be Joel Van Meel offloads by hand coming towards the commentary side of the ground the target is Brown ball fisted away goes to ground opportunity now for Carlisle Marks he kicks forward JJ's the target two on one situation Frankie does well at ground level looping handball to the favour of a teammate oh he does well Valden to get the handball out there now eventually it comes to Jack Williams Williams commentary side of the ground taken by Retainer Onus, and then kicking forward. Opportunity for Geordie Slater, but it's taken away by the Marsh, but only so far as Kotarenko. Kotarenko sends his side inside 50. Foot races on Johnson. Can he keep the ball inside? He does. He comes back with a little kick towards the advantage of Jeffrey. Jeffrey puts it on the boot and kicks the goal. Great team goal by East Point. Unselfish play by Johnston. And that is exactly what East Point would be seeking as the margin stretches out to 42 points, 9-9-63, leaning Bacchus Marsh, 3-3-21. Good play there from East Point. Geordie Johnston had the effect again, just drew players towards him, finds Jeffrey in the middle all on his own and kicks the goal. Great work from East Point. We have it in the middle here. It'll be Kotarenko, the veteran, versus Burton. Good tap from Kotarenko to Sean and Willie's team forward. Harrison, or King that is. Well done. Gets the hands across. That was Strut letter. And they back to Har King. Hands off. It's tackle. Great tackle there. He stares him down. That was Geordie Slater. Caught the Bacchus Marsh player and wanted to let him know about it. Great pressure from East Point. We have a ball in on the outer side. Good tap again from Kotarenko. Down. It's good hands. They're trying to get it forward. Oh, but East Point is set up well behind the ball. Bacchus Marsh win back possession. And they've got a man over the back here. It's Owens. He runs 45-40. Closing... Goal! What a goal from Owens. He found some space out the back and just ran in, took his time, didn't worry. Had a man open in the square. It was Rex Hickman, but he let it go through. Great goal. They needed that one, Bacchus Marsh. It's 9 9 63 East Point to 4 3 27. Bacchus Marsh in, uh, on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard for the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. They needed that one, didn't they, Wes? Sure did. Owen kicks his second, becomes the first multiple goal kicker for Bacchus Marsh. They, well, I mean, the margin was out to 42 points prior to that goal and it would have been a real danger time for Bacchus Marsh. They cannot allow a run of East Point goals. Back in the middle of Eastern Reserve now. And the ball in contest. Kick forward. And the mark taken by Jeffrey, who kicked a goal for... The point is only a short time ago. Inside, 50 now. Scrubbing sort of kick. Set JJ a real task. Ball spills out by hand. That was Meeson. Although opportunity emerges once again for his point in the ball, along with the tackle shuffled over the boundary line, some 40 metres around from the scoring zone. East point, 9-9-63. Plays back as Marsh, 4-3-27 in the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Ball in. Well done there from Burton. Just punches it forward, trying to get it. Chasing after the ball there. That's Taylor. And it trickles out of bounds. 
60 or 55 metres out from the East Point goal. They've gone back to one defender on JJ, Geordie Johnston. See if he can get on the end of this. At the bottom of the pack there, that was Rhoda Moronis. Ball trickles out now. Bacchus Marsh trying to surge it forward. I think that's Brown. Hands over the top. Well done. He just picks up and tries to kick it. And the umpire says, I think we'll have a ball up. Might have been out of bounds. So we'll have a stoppage, a throw in. About the middle of the ground on the outer side of the wing from us in the commentary box. Kotarenko and Burton. Neither player wins the tap out. Ball fisted away. Here's Williams, runs onto it, throws the ball on the boot and finds a player in space. I'm not sure if that was intended or otherwise, but here's an opportunity for Ashton Craig to send his side forward. Handball comes off and now he has a shot on goal. Could it be the maiden goal? And no, it isn't. He misses to the right. Good creative play there by the young fella, making his debut in the Marsh's colours in senior company for the first time. 35 points the margin now. 4-4-28 back of Smash, trailing East Point. 9-9-63 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Loving to kick it in now. Goes long. It's a couple of players there. There's hands in the back. The umpire says play on. That was Geordie Slater. Ball turned over now. Back of Smash trying to win possession. They're starting it. They've had a good start to this second quarter. And we'll have a stoppage. They're just starting to... Uh, they've stopped the flow of goals from East Point, it seems, for the time being. So now they're just going to start getting some defensive running their way. There's a free kick. There's advantage. It's kicked. And it fades left. That was Harrison King running out of the pack. Would have been a good goal to kick. See, they've had some opportunities in recent times. The margin closes to 34 points. The kicking duties sit with Cam Lovig. As he sizes up his options, surveys the landscape ahead, looks left, then looks right, then looks left again and comes to the commentary side of the ground with a long penetrative kick. JJ flies, can't take the mark, but he picks the ball up at ground level. It's a real up and under chimney type kick. He goes and tries to fist it away to his own team's advantage from his own kick, taken by Aaron Willits. Ball spills free, and the umpire says, well, it didn't actually spill free. It was uh, pretty much not disposed of adequately, and as a consequence, it's going to be East Point from left half back. Foreman goes long. Was looking for McDougal. Couldn't get it. Now, oh, and King kicks it out of bounds on the full. He's had a good start to this quarter, King. He's been absolutely everywhere. Just couldn't finish on, couldn't hit a target on that occasion. Come back in Lovig. Kicks long down the line. Looking for McDougal again. Good battle there. Oh, Bacchus Marsh win back possession. It was a sloppy handball from the Bacchus Marsh player. It was Culliver. But they'll get the ball back here. This is Cray. And they go. He swings it on his opposite. Got to stand under the ball. Oh, that was a big fly from the East Point player. Here's Rodimer, Rodimer Ernest. And they get a free kick. The East Point cheers for Rotomer. Rotomer Onus. He's got to go here. Wants to go through the middle. Hits Brown. Brown looks up. He might go back to Rotomer Onus. No, he's going to go far down. He cops it. It's, here we go. He's a good one on one contest. Trying to take it one handed. That was Geordie Taylor. The umpire says play on. Geordie Slater takes it. He's looking and he finds. JJ Geordie Johnston. He was out in his own, took the mark. It was a good contest and then got jumped in the back of. 45 metres out and a tough angle. He's going to back himself in here. This will be for his fifth. Get four first quarter goals. Got locked down in the second quarter. Struts in. Kicks, makes the umpire work. It's a good-looking kick, but it just fades left. He had to come out that angle to try and get the extra distance. He had it easy. He just pulled it to the left side. 
9, 10, 64 to 4, 5, 29. He missed a couple of shots on goal in that second quarter, so he could conceivably have six or seven. Has four. He's certainly been an exciting player to watch today. Here's an opportunity for East Point. They'll go straight back inside once again. Uh, the foot race is going to beat, be beaten by the Sharon. And as a consequence, the ball to be thrown in alongside the East Point scoring zone. 9 10, 64 plays, 4 5 29 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. We're ticking towards the 14 minute mark of our third quarter in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day in the McDonald's Ballarat Football Netball League for round seven. It's a really enjoyable contest to watch. Kotorenko, front position, takes it out of the ruck. Quick snap on goal! And. Came from the boot of Bryson McDougall, but it misses to the right through for just the minor score. And once again, we have six straight kicks separate the sides. East point, 9-11-65, leading the marsh, 4-5-29. Quay Buck to Tierney again. Starting to find some space now, back as Marsh. They've got some more options. He's going to go out this side. I don't think he's come out the broadcast side today. Goes out, looking for Owen. He has three to contend with. JJ Geordie Johnson goes to the fist. Now they're going to link something up with handballs. Good Shepherd. That was Tallman. Keeps running. Goes long to the, the goal square. Gets over the back. He's just got to take clean possession. They'll be free. Handball. Couple of handballs. Snap. What a smother that was. I think that was LaFranchi. And then the East Point player. He'll have another go at it, Jordy Slater. Gets taken out. Umpire says play on. They're defending for their lives here, Bacchus Marsh, and well done not to conceive a goal there. They had four or five opportunities, and LaFranchi desperately with a couple of smothers and a couple of efforts. Well done. Wow, that was really, really desperate stuff. As McDougal does the ruck work up against Burton, taken by Stool Dryer of the Nick variety, and he runs out of tarmac, and we'll see the throw in. Just... 10 metres around from the East Point scoring zone. 65 plays, 29. 15 minutes travelled in this third quarter. The Ballarat Toyota scoreboard with Wes Cusworth and Archie Burley providing the commentary today. Caleb Ludlow performing his magic once again, bringing it to you live on the live stream. Trying to burst through the pack was Matt Johnston. He's wrapped up in the tackle. Eventually, the point is burst free. The kick towards the goal square and the mark's taken by Jack Williams. Now, Williams has got a bit of room to move on this commentary side of the ground. He chooses a short option and sizes up Harrison King for position. There, he kicks to a one-on-one. -on -one. That's a nice juggling mark taken on that occasion by the Marsh. Clever work by Aaron Willits. So Willits, he's called to play on. I'm not sure that he actually straight off the line there. That was quite surprising by the umpire. And his handball is just dribbling out of reach of Harrison King and to be thrown in just to the left of us in the commentary position. 16 minutes travelled, third quarter. The Ballarat Toyota scoreboard reveals that it's a 36-point advantage to East Point, 9-11 to 4-5. Van Meel against Burton here in the ruck. Van Meel holding on and Burton will get the free kick. Van Meel not playing as much in the ruck today. Burton appealing for the 50. Umpire's not having any of it. He wants to go in. They've got some players in the middle. He's just going to go down the line. This is the kid on debut. This is Ashton Craig. He wants to go through the middle. Good kick. Takes the game on. That was Strudler. Strudler. Still dryer. Still dryer. Goes wide. Finds his brother. Riley Strudler. Looks to hit up. Can't quite. As a couple of East players go down as they try and go out the outer side. East get back possession and he steps over the boundary line. We'll have a throw in 40 metres out from the Bacchus Marsh goal. Was that another Nick and Riley close, still yes. drier effort? They are unbelievable at finding one another. So here's Burton to do the ruck work. This time he's up against young Tom Brown. Ball fisted away. Here's Rodham Onus. Does well. Goes one way, then the other. Then like a power tool, Makita works his way through the pack. Now the ball spills out to the advantage of the pointers and they're away. Going by hand, uh, going by uh, foot, rather, is Jack Jeffrey. He takes a couple of bounces, runs himself into a fair bit of business, and then he's dispossessed in a heavy tackle. And the ba Backers Marsh boys let him know all about it. Here's Nick's tool dryer. Well, the umpires asked for the footy to come back. Just keep it calm, boys. Concentrate on the footy. It was really exciting football from Jack Jeffrey. Unfortunately, it came a little unstuck as he headed laterally back in board. And in fact, the umpires uh, pulled up play once again and said, guys, you've got a, a game happening of your own. But in reality, the umpires have actually 
stop the play and set at the defensive end of their centre square. Bacchus Marsh will have possession through Tom German. So German, the cousin of Max Eastmuir, who's missing today's game and clearly a big loss for the Marsh. And eventually they work their way forward to Jack Williams, who goes with a little chip kick to Craig's advantage. Craig will, in turn, a bit of an up and under, just gives a little bit too much air to that one, and that turns the footy over. Here's Rotomer Onus trying to burst through and eventually gets a couple of possessions away. These point, look at these quick hands. Good work by the pointers, although they are dispossessed. And then Craig just throws it on the boot, says, I'll go with a longer option now on this occasion. Rotom Onus is going to be first to the footy. Works it out to the advantage of Jackson Merritt. They retreat by hand. Met with a heavy tackle and eventually over the line is Sam Q. And the umpire says, we'll have a throw in. I tell you what, the ferocity in this contest is absolutely enormous. And at the moment on the scoreboard, it's a 36-point advantage to East Point. Just turned up a notch, Wes. Ball in now. Van Meele in the rock. Oh, Burton just gets rid of him. Now running in's Craig, the first game, and puts his head over the ball. Well done. He drags and he's probably going to have to get it out. And the umpire says we'll have a ball up. That was great work from Craig. Putting his head over the ball. That's what we need in this senior football. Ball up now. Burton just tries to punch it forward. He can't. That was good from Dodd. Ball on the outside. Oh, I've ran into the ground. Burton just slams him. And we'll have a ball up. The blokes in the bottom of that pack. I think Merritt was one of them. And Geordie Slater, I think another one. Burton again here. Good punch from... That was all right from Brown. Gets it out. They're closing on goal here. Appealing for the free kick. I think they've got to focus more on just... Getting the ball in and under. They're a bit distracted here, the players. Oh, again. Brown and Burton. Burton wins the tap. Oh, thrown on the boot there. That was German. Comes to the goal line. There's a couple there. Strudlegger being one of them. And the ball goes over the, the line for a behind. And they want to move it quickly here, East. They have it in the right back pocket. Now they switch to the commentary side of the ground and to the left back pocket. And the mark's taken by Chris Carson. So Carson, he sizes up his options and chooses to go along the line. His intended target was Jake Toolman, who marks right on defensive 50, hard up against the boundary line. He'll use the commentary wing. Kicks to the advantage of Geordie Slater, but flying through and taking a good mark is Tom Brown. Brown moves it on very quickly. Five foot. He's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Front position was with East, but taking it front and square was Geordie Slater. Now the foot races on. Johnston up against Daniel Burton. Johnston runs away, streams in, and kicks goal number five. Terrific turn of speed by JJ. Jordan Johnston, he's got five. He kicked eight two weeks ago, six last week. He's got five. He looks like he might be able to match that sort of tally today. And he stretches the lead out to 41 points as East Point move along to 10-11, 71, leading back a smash, 4-6-30 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Well, what chance did Daniel Valden have there once the ball got over the back? Johnston with the explosive pace there and just runs in. He, he nearly gave up, Valden, to be fair. And I think I would have as well. Johnston running to the open goal. Great work from each point. Back in the middle here. Burton and Brown go at it. Good hat from Brown. Handball out just to open space. Try and get the ball moving forward. Johnston was coming through. <coughs> that was of the mat variety. Now we'll have another stoppage. the holding pattern this game here. Here we go. Brown. Oh, well done. Burton just grabs the ball and kicks it forward. That's good work from Merritt. And now Dodd just trying to get the ball forward. This is Geordie Slater. Kicks long. Looking in the JJ Geordie Johnson direction, but it's cut off there. That was well done by Jack Williams. And he kicks it. It's a, It must have hit the deck and it will have a stoppage. Dangerous short kick there. Might have not been 15.
25 metres out from East Point's goal here. Watching for JJ Geordie Johnson. Tap out. Marsh win possession. East Point win it back. Ball appealing for deliberate. And he's given it. It could have been out of bounds in the full. This is East Point. They're going to go long. Couple of leads. He presents one of them. That's a good lead and a good mark from Bryson McDougall. How good was that? Coming out of the ball. Everyone knew where it was going. He hit him on the chest. Good bullet pass there. Quite an easy shot. 30, 25, 30 metres out. Can't afford to offer any sort of space in the corridor when the ball's coming in from oh that no. direction, can you? It's a good lead. Just pointed where he wanted it. Directly there. Goes back. Dougal. It's in kicks. It's a good looking kick. And it's straight over the goal umpire's hat. What a goal. And what a good pass in from there. Could have been Joe Dodd. But McDougal with a clean hands. They're just stretching their lead away again here. East Point. Eleven eleven seventy seven to four six thirty on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. This is the Ballarat Toyota match of the day with Wes Cusworth and Archie Bailey. Back in the middle now. It looks like Hickman's going to be doing the ruck work up against Young Brown. Fisted away. East Point go forward once again. Awkward bouncing football taken by Johnson. Overlap handball. Out to the advantage of Cotter Rank. Go right across the face of goal. And he'll be disappointed with that. He had an option. But uh, it was a a good choice to actually shoot on goal, but unfortunately just didn't quite make the connection that he was hoping for. 11-11-77 plays 4-6-30. The ball to be thrown in alongside the scoring zone for his point as the ball landed very close, perilously close to the boundary. Fisted away by the marsh. Quick kick forward. Comes to the commentary side of the ground. Players go to ground. Rotom Onus first to the footy. Happy to see the ball over the boundary line and... Players from both sides can reset as we approach the 26-minute mark of our third quarter in the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. The Ballarat Toyota scoreboard says 11-11-77 plays 4-6-30. Ball in now. With different personnel on the rock, just punches it forward. That was Rex Hickman, but North uh, East Point win the ball back and kick it long. This is Geordie Slater trying to win possession as it trickles out of bounds. On the tap there, but East Point, as they have been all day today, set up well behind the ball. We're 45 metres out from East Point's goal. There's a plethora of players. Brown just punches it back. There's big, you throw a blanket over 25 players there. Pans off. That was German. Trying to find the gaps. Here comes Brown. Dashing through. How good's that from Jacob Brown? Goes for the dribbler. Probably wasn't the right decision. JJ Geordie Johnson keeps it in. Nearly back to Brown. And they kick it out here, East Point. But they're well set up. Just as I mentioned before. Cam Lovick now. Short kick. JJ Geordie Johnson couldn't get there. Back to Lovick. He's going to get tackled by King. And now the ball over the top. And Joe Dodd couldn't get there. It's going to go out of bounds. couple opportunities. And I just couldn't capitalise there. East Point. 11-11-77 to 4-6-30. East Point leading by 47 points. Ball thrown in. Shallow throw in. Made the Ruckman work. Taken by Jacob Brown. Tries to beat the tackle. Umpire says... He had prior opportunity, didn't make the most of it. Ham, the free kick goes the way of Nick's dual drive. He retreats with the kick. Finds his teammate in Owen, who's kicked a couple of goals. One in the first, one in the third. He, in turn, goes further wide and finds Culliver. So Culliver hard up against the boundary line. Chooses to play on. Worm-burning sort of, sort of kick. Doesn't find his target. It's cut off there on that occasion by Kenny. East Point will go forward once again, and the mark's taken. Some 25 metres out from goal. And I reckon that might be Geordie Slater. Great vision from Merritt there. 
That's what sets footballers apart from the elite level. So Geordie Slater it is. Fairly tough angle, but notwithstanding the fact that with deep pockets here at Eastern, very attainable. He comes in now, kicks from 30 metres out. Oh, it's a beautiful kick off the boot. He signals to the sky. It's another major for East Point. And they move along to 12, 11, 83. The margin stretches out beyond the half-century mark. It's 53 points separate the two sides. Bacchus Marsh stuck on 4, 6, 30. That's on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard as we press towards three-quarter time in our Ballarat Toyota match of the day. He had uh, absolute composure on that occasion. Archie, he was never in doubt as much as I might have been casting doubt over the accuracy of the kick. Oh, yeah, it was beautiful. I still can't get over Jacko's merits uh, vision inside. Most players would have blazed away then, but he just took his time and found the target. Great work there. So back in the middle. Ruckman go at it. It's a good tap there. I think it was... Uh, Rex Hickman. So you got Hickman and Brown back in the ruck. Good tap. They get it out again. Dorota McCumas kicks out. It's a dribbling kick. It might work out. Under the ball was a nice player. They're set up well. Going back with a flight. Doesn't quite take the mark. That was Joe Dodd. Now Bacchus on the rebound. They just can't take the ball cleanly. They've been fumbly today. They're on the outer side. That's Culliver. Goes forward to Riley Porter. Couldn't take the ball cleanly, and I think we might have a stoppage on the outer side wing. They, they were out there, Bacchus, and they just could not link up cleanly. You can't afford a fumble in this comp. Out now. Here's Harrison. Good hands. There, kick forward. East Point now, and it's it's between Geordie Slater and Veldon. Well done, and winning the free kick there. That's Quade Bart. From down the line, it's always going to go. He decides to go to a shorter target. It's just overcooks the kick a little bit. That was silky from, I think it was Strew Letter. Stool Dryer. Yeah, that was Nick Stool Dryer on that yeah. occasion. So the ball will be thrown in on centre wing, outer side of the ground. 83 plays 30. Substantial advantage enjoyed by East Point on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard as we press towards three-quarter time. Fighting at ground level was Liam Kenny. Marsh take possession. Go towards half forward. Burton slipped forward on this occasion. He's wearing Dallas Martin as a rival. And the ball over the boundary line to be thrown in between centre wing and half forward with Bacchus Marsh ever so slightly progressing forward but really struggling under the incredible duress that's being provided by East Point to actually have clean possession. Here's an opportunity. A real opportunity emerges for Bacchus Marsh now. Looping handball from Parente into a, a teammate's pathway. Here's Ryland Porter. Snap around the body. Ryland Porter, what a cracking goal! Well, there's a bit of excitement for Bacchus Marsh. Ryland Porter emerges in the long sleeves to kick the fifth major for Bacchus Marsh and cut the margin back to 47 points in the shadows of three-quarter time. 32 minutes have elapsed. 12-11-83 East Point. Bacchus Marsh, 5-6-36. The margin, 47 points on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Right on at the end of the quarter as well, Wes. I don't think there's long to go. 32 minutes gone. Was silky there from Porter. Keeps it in contention. They can always... Have a big last quarter and come home. Back in the middle. Fly high. Van Neal and that was Rex Hickman in the ruck. Love a ball up. Good punch there. That was Brown. Now, goes back and gets his own ball. The umpire says, we'll have a ball up. It's good here from East Point. 
just trying to hold down the seconds, make sure they don't get another goal. Although, back as Marsh go forward. Here's Rudy Makunas. Gets ran down. Umpire says he had prior. Back, and that's a siren. There it is. There's the end of the third quarter. Tw East Point, 12-11-83 to Bacchus Marsh, 5-6-36 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. This is the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Yes, well, we saw some four goals come from the boot of East Point and Bacchus Marsh, they kicked just two. Owen and Porter, the goal kickers for the Cobras. And for East Point, we had goals to Jeffrey Johnston, McDougal and Slater. And JJ has five at three-quarter time. As we take a break in the Ballarat Toyota match of the day, the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard reveals that East Point 12-11-83 lead by 47 points over Bacchus Marsh, 5-6-36. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter action in just a few minutes. As proud sponsors of the Ballarat Football Netball League, we love supporting local. And love community sport, and we encourage everyone to get out there, support your local football and netball league, and of course, support local business.
Fourth and final quarter action about to get underway in the Ballarat Toyota match of the day for the McDonald's Ballarat Football Netball League. Don't forget, it is hiring day at McDonald's. Straight after the game, head down to your local McDonald's and let them know that you're interested in gaining employment with McDonald's before 6pm. As currently facing a 47-point deficit, Bacchus Marsh, East Point in command. Here is Archie Burley. Burton wins the... Wins the ball out of the middle there. Gets a clearance. Kicks it towards the East Point player. But he can't quite get the ball. There's another one running after it. He gathers it. That's Toolman. That's Silky on his opposite now. Goes long. There's a few down there. Might get out the back. It does. That's Liam Canny. Gets the ball and kicks it long. And it's marked by JJ Jordy Johnson. He wants to go. He goes quickly. Kicks long. And it's marked on the line by Jack Jeffrey. Well done from JJ Jordy Johnston. He marked the ball. Could have gone back and had a shot for his six, but unselfishly saw Jack Jeffrey running back to goal and hit him up to have a shot from five metres out in the goal square. Great play from East Point, end to end. And they'll get around him here. All the boys run to him. Get around, Jack Jeffrey. Looks like it might be his first goal in senior footy, Wes. Every player from the ground got to him. Great play from East Point. Well, we thought we saw potentially the best side in the competition last week, didn't we, when we watched Melton uh, disassemble North Ballarat. But I tell you what, East Point is... We shouldn't be too surprised given the fact that they won the recently completed seasons in the Ballarat Football Netball League 2018 and 2019 Premier. And here they go again, playing absolutely outstanding footy and leading by 53 points early in this fourth term. Kotarenko up against Burton. No decisive winner by for either player. And the umpire says there's a hold and it's going to be Bacchus Marsh, the recipients of the free kick. And it's going to be Hickman. Hickman with a little... Kick forward. Finds his teammate there in Cray. Now they go inside 50. Good mark on the lead. They'll have a shot on goal 30 metres out. Bit of push and shove. That was good mark taken there on that occasion. And now looking to eat into this deficit of 53 points. So the Marsh desperately needing this one. They need to add some respectability to the score. The shot on goal. It's a lovely kick on goal. And the Marsh have got their six. 6-6-42. Six, six, and I'll just spot up the goal kicker there. They trail. And in fact, it might be... Number 20 is Aaron Willits. That's his second goal of the game. And so the margin is back to 47 points. Bacchus Marsh, 6-6-42, trailing East Point, 13-11-89. Hope you're enjoying the live stream wherever you may be. That's the beauty of the live stream. It goes all around the world and even to the Docklands where Ash Hetherington is no doubt enjoying this coverage where his side leads by 47 points. Potter and Cohen Burton here in the middle. Good tussle there. Neither really won it. Good hands there. That was that was Shay. Now they go out wide. Here we go. Bacchus Marsh play over the top to the young debut. And Ashton Craig, he runs the 45 and does the unselfish thing. Chips over the top. Finds a teammate. He could have gone for goal and kicked his first goal in senior footy. But he decided to chip it over the top to his teammate. Tyler Hoon, and he goes on as well. And they'll just chipping it around here, East Point. And it's back to Willits. He kicked the last goal, and he'll line up for his third here. 20 metres out. Kicks, and never gave it a chance, leaving it out to the left side. It'll be a minus score, 13-11. 89 East Point to 6743 Bacchus Marsh. Four minutes 26 gone on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. This is the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Kicking duties rest with Jacob Brown.
when the footy is retrieved. Thanks to our pedestrians passing by here at the Eastern Oval. So Brown with his side in command by some 48 points early in the fourth term. Comes to the commentary side of the ground and he's got an option in Matt Johnston who marks at right half back. So Johnston just tells his teammates to flood over to this commentary side of the ground. He tends to go up the line. He does so. Heads in the Kotarenko direction. Front position was with Jake Owen. Fisted the ball away. Comes to ground. The point is wrapped up in the tackle. That's Cam Lovey. And the umpire says, oh, bang. You had prior opportunity. I don't think Cam agrees with that. I think Cam felt that he was tackled as soon as he grabbed possession. But Rex Hickman wins himself a free kick. He kicked a second quarter goal, Rex. This might be beyond his range right at the moment. So he's just sizing up his options inside 50. He goes long towards the hot spot. Although it's a two-on-one situation. Oh, Rove front and square snap on goal. Comes from Harrison King. And he's kicked it. He's pulled another one back for the Cobras. 7-7-49. King kicks his first goal of the game. And just gives back a smash, a little glimmer. Early in his fourth term. Yeah, very interesting, Wes. It gives him a sniff, doesn't it? They get another couple of quick ones here. You never know what can happen. Well, King's goal takes back a smash to 7-7-49. They trail East Point 13-11-89 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Kotarenko and Burton back in the middle. The ball goes up. Tussle there. Kotarenko probably run it. Hit it down. It's gone forward. This player's got some space. Runs on the end of it. Grabs the ball. That was Jordan Taylor. Kicks it long. JJ, Jordy Johnson's there. Can't quite grab it. He's still on the ball. Still got it. Handballs it off. That was unselfish. And they kicked the goal. Least point. JJ, Jordy Johnson was running in and handballs it across to Bryce and McDougal. And he kicks the goal. That was very unselfish from. Jordy Johnson, he couldn't kick a sixth. He's probably, he's kicked five, and I think he's given off three or four as well. Undoubtedly the best player on ground, but great work from Bryce McDougall as well to be in the right place at the right time as they respond and probably uh, diminish any hope of uh, Bacchus Marsh getting back in the game. 14-11-95 to 7-7-49. East Point leading... 7.32 gone. Some interesting games around the region and I can see that Melton South 83 lead, Sebas 82 and 54 apiece, Sunbury and Redan. So some very interesting contests. Uh, a couple of the other games are a little more lopsided. Not quite of the same level of interest as we see Bacchus Marsh go forward, fisted away. Good defensive work by Cam Lovig. Sees the ball safely over the refuge of the boundary line. 14 11 95 plays 7 7 49. We've gone eight minutes into this fourth quarter. A fight for the front spot here. Well done from Kotarenko. Probably gets it. Oh, but good tap there from Burton. Now they go forward again. Oh, but well done from East Point. They grab the ball up. They're well set at the back here. That was good from Owen. Playing a kick behind the play. Goes through the middle. That was Cray. Now they go. They kick to a one-on-one. -on -one just outside the 50. The East Points player's got the legs on him and he just runs out of play. I don't know how hard he tried to keep that one in. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's happy to run back to the 50 and reset. Fighting for front position. And holding the arm there. I think it's going to be a free kick to Kotarenko there. Yeah, it is. He looks up. He doesn't have a lot. He's just going to handle it off. That's Rodemer Onus. And he, he hits the player. This is Jack Jeffrey. Goes long. There's three on JJ George Johnson. He gets it to ground. And no, the umpire says he did it after. That's Owen. Goes long out the other side. They've got space. They can go here back if they want to... They want to take the game on. They hold. Porter just holds the game up. That was nearly intercepted. Over the other side, that's Caliver. 
And then that's the man on debut. That was Ashton Craig as the ball goes out of bounds. On the far side from us in the commentary position. 14-11 plays 7-7 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Ball to be thrown in. A long way from where we're commentating. In a fabulous vantage point, I might make mention, here at the Eastern Oval. Kick forward. Oh, and a good mark taken by Hickman. One-handed attempt. Offloads to his teammate there in Craig. He's dispossessed of the football. Ball spills out by hand. Taken by Porter. Retreats with the handball. Then they go forward. Oh, no, they don't. The kick of Harrison King smothered. He goes back, retreats, and receives it, and then gets it off by hand. All oh, the marks spilt there. That was still drier. Should have done better there on that occasion. Ball spills out. Taken now by Joe Dodd. And once again, East Point can just control the footy as Bryson McDougall marks defensive side of centre wing out of sight of the ground. McDougall looks up. It's going to go the shorter option. Hits up Rhoda Maronis. Couple of blokes calling for it. Tallman wants it in the middle. He's just going to go against that and go long down the line. There isn't really anyone there. It's a good diving mark from the back of Smash player. But... I think they're going to throw it in. Well, yeah, the umpires, gonna... umpires are conferring, I th suspect. Didn't really have the ball hit the ground, the deck, before going out of bounds. And no, they, they're going to they're going to pay the mark, and rightly so. Rightly so to Jake Owen. That was a good effort. It's back across the Quaid, but they're going to go the long way around this ground. That's Riley Porter kicks. Oh no, it's an absolute clanger. He's missed kicked it. And the captain of East Point, Matt Johnson, is going to have a shot from 50. Out. That's disappointing because they were out on the outer side. Anyway, here's Matt Johnson from 50 metres. Kicks a goal. It'd be a captain's goal, wouldn't it? Matt Johnson kicks an absolute beauty. Turns to the interchange bench with a double fister. What a goal from Matt Johnson. Oh, you, you can't sum that up any better. Than that's just the captain's goal. We... It wasn't the best of kicks off the boot, but it just drifted through and just about sums up Backers Marsh's day with that play right there. Reads the score to 15, 11, 101 to 7, 7, 49 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard with 12 minutes, 16 gone in the last quarter. Yes, three goal to two last quarter so far as Burton and Kotarenko prepare to go at it. Burton... Doesn't get off the ground there on that occasion. Just lets Kotarenko palm it down. Although no great advantage as we see that the ball is won back by Dodd and now an opportunity emerges for East Point to progress. And they'll do so via the commentary side of the ground. The kick towards half forward. Ball fisted away. The intended target there was Jake Toolman. And that was good work there by Dom Meeson to see the ball over the boundary line. Gets the uh, applause of his teammate. He just says, that was good work, young fella. Let's keep that sort of stuff happening. As Kotarenko and Burton set themselves again. Kotarenko, front position. Burton was hoping that it might have drifted over the top of the back. But on this occasion, back of Smash kicking forward and travelling only so far as Jacob Brown. Brown looks up. Have a look. Has a few options in the middle. <coughs> Not going to try and fight that off. He's going to go for a piercing kick. I don't know if he... he didn't quite get it. Gets wrapped up straight away as he grabbed it. That's Joe Dodd. Oh, Geordie Slater. He's been pinned for holding the ball. Good tackle from Tom German. The cousin of Max Eastmeyer, who's an out today for Bacchus Mars. It's really affected the result of this game. Missing him after 27 <laughs> possessions in a goal last week. Now on debut, that's Ashton Cray. Goes down the line. But they've got numbers behind the ball. Here's Brown. Kicks over the top to Mitch Walsh. And then just going to hold it up. Oh, Liam Canny, sorry. Going to hold it up for a second. No need to rush it. Goes towards Brown. Gets pushed under it. And, oh, there's going to be a free kick. They're going to take the advantage. That was through Tom German. Gets it back again. Good run down tackle from Joe Dodd. The ball still goes forward here. Couple here. Here's Ashton Craig on debut. Gets the hands out. That's caught. Back, hands around the corner, snap. Doesn't quite get to the boundary. And it's rushed over the line. It's a good effort there from Aaron Willits, who had two to contend <coughs> with and nearly won the ball. 
So East Point, they'll use the commentary side of the ground. They lead by 51 points. 101 plays 50 in the marks taken by Serafino Cray. Cray looks in board, spots up a teammate, and indeed he finds King, who kicked a fourth quarter goal. Worm burning kick, the lead was forthcoming. Actually went over the top of three players, gathered at ground level by the marsh. Buried, called to play on, snap from Hun. No, couldn't quite get a clean kick away. Knocked off the footy was Tom German. The pack forms over the share and the umpire says, bang, free kick. Which way does he... He's going to go the way of Bacchus Marsh on this occasion. He deemed that East Point had jumped on the footy and had dragged it in. And I suspect that he's penalised Matt Johnston there on that occasion, which seemed to be a bit of a 50-50, but that's the way he's gone. And Tom German will settle back over the Sharon and kick to the eastern end here at the Eastern Oval and look to add another, aiming for Bacchus Marsh's eighth goal. Here's Tom German. will kick from 35. The kick off the boot is as desired for the Cobras. They have got their eighth major of the game, 8.56, eight trailing East Point, 15-11, 101. Some 16 minutes into this fourth and final quarter. That is the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard in the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Great call there, Wes. Like pin one back here, back is Marsh, but I don't think it's going to have much result on the outcome of this game. So back in the middle. Burton will do the rock work. Gets Tom Brown. Right, Burton just grabs the ball and kicks it long, but East Point has set up well behind the ball. That was good from Brown. Jacob Brown that time. Now they're out on the outer side. That was Sam Q. And then chipping over the top is Joe Dodd. Got another player in the middle. They're not going to decide to take it. They might have to go down the line now. Jeffrey leading at him. They don't decide to go there. He might get it anyway. Ball over the top. Owen couldn't quite get there. Here's JJ. Geordie Johnson out the back and doesn't get to him. Jay, you'd be nervous running back to goal with JJ on your tail. Such a dangerous player, as we see today, in the past few weeks. He's kicked 14 goals in the last two weeks and adding five today. Great work from Burton. Just throws it on the boot. Good fist. King couldn't trap it. Now, oh, the well done from that East Point player. Just gets it long. There's a few players there. JJ Jordy Johnson jumps. He couldn't quite get it. Handball here. He's got to be clean here. Grabs the ball. And someone's going to kick the goal. No. They're waiting for a whistle. It never came. A, the crowd isn't happy here. <laughs> right in front of the East Point faithful. They weren't too happy at all, were they? Should have been lining up for a goal. There it was. Oh. Fisted away. Boundary side and eventually over as players run out of tarmac. Right in front of the social rooms for the East Point Footy Club. They'll be absolutely loving this scoreline at the moment. 15-11-101 plays 8-8-56. And they've controlled the game very much since quarter time. And the ball worked over the boundary line by Bacchus Marsh. The East Point players appeal for the free kick. The umpire not interested. And we'll have a throw in some 30 metres around from the scoring zone. The Ruse into attack. They've kicked three fourth quarter goals. Bacchus Marsh have also kicked three fourth quarter goals. Nice long throw in by the boundary umpire. Taken by Tom Brown. Only so far as his rival there and Riley still dry. His kick smothered. Oh, danger signs for East for Bacchus Marsh. Kick on goal by East Point. Fantastic stuff by Jackson Merritt. Just read it better than anybody else there on that occasion. And he kicks truly his first goal of the game and stretches the margin back out to 51 points. East point 16, 11, 107. The Cobras, 8, 8, 56. That's on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. Great goal there from Jack O'Merritt. Just rode the pack beautifully. Knew it was going to fall. Ran through. Didn't break stride and kicked the goal. Very well done. He just read it better than anyone else. St um... 
yeah, they're just mo- moving around the contest. It's, oh, it's great work from East Point. Instead of being stagnant like Bax Marsh. Anyway, back in the middle here. Brown and Burton. Burton wins the, the tap. Burton just throws it on the boot and get it forward. Here's the, the debut in Craig. Can't quite get it. Should have been holding the ball, and it is. Couldn't get the foot to the ball there, Hickman. Now they're out on the outer side. That's Jordy Taylor. Goes up. They've got a couple to contend with. Oh, that was well rode by McDougal. Hits up JJ Jordy Johnson on the lead. He wants to give it off. Unselfishly in the middle. Oh, the mark's dropped by Liam Canny. They're still going to have a chance. They're going to raffle it here. Who wants to kick the goal? It's Liam Canny. Runs in and snags a goal. Another one. The East Point fans are up and about. Six or seven players lining up to kick that goal. And again, JJ Jordy Johnston setting it up, taking the mark out in front. Could have had another shot, but decided he wanted to go inboard and give it off to one of his players. Liam Canny fumbling the mark, but then following up and kicking the goal. Great work from East Point. I, I tell you what, Jordy Johnston is one of the most unselfish key forwards that I've ever seen. And he clearly just enjoys bringing his teammates into the game. And sometimes it's to his own detriment where you might back him to have a shot on goal. But he is just an, the consummate team player. Bacchus Marsh get the takeaway on this occasion. They'll stream forward from the boot of Culliver towards centre half. Or the lead. Oh, the mark taken. Good work there by Aaron Willits. He kicked a first quarter goal and a fourth quarter goal. In fact, his second goal came three minutes in this fourth quarter. And now he'll settle back over the Sheridan and kick to the eastern end. From 40 metres out, it is a beautiful shot off the boot. And he pulls one back for the Marsh. They move along to 9-8-62, trailing by 51 points against East Point. 17-11, 113 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard in our McDonald's Ballarat Football Netball League Ballarat Toyota match of the day. Because you often see, as I was uh, making that comment about Geordie Johnston, you often see players that are very, very skilled as goal kickers, but then they get a little drawn into having repeatedly shooting on goal themselves rather than looking for those options. But he's always looking for other teammates. Well, I know if I'd had five, I would have gone back and tried to kick me six. He could have about ten of the amount he's given off. He's played beautiful today, Jordy Johnson. Back in the middle. Todorenko and Burton. Both go at it. Good battle there. <laughs> Neither really wins it. Now, Bacchus Marsh win the ball, but oh, great work from East Point. Oh, no, good tackle from the Bacchus Marsh player, and he's rewarded with the ball. They were nearly out there, and well done from Tom German to get that tackle. It's out to the wing now. East Point, ret- get possession back. That was well done by Jordan Taylor over the top to Chris Carson. Now they're going back inboard. He played on. Probably shouldn't have. They're going to go right back to the... To nearly the goal square. This is Jacob Brown. They've got multiple players open on this out, outer side. It's got to be a pinpoint perfect kick. It is. Oh, that is a beautiful oh. kick. Good mark from Harry Ganley. They're going to move it on to Carlisle Marks. And now McDougal. Handball over the top. Who can they find? Ru- Rodem- Rudem McOnis. Oh, run through a protected area. Wasn't given 50. Probably should have been. And it's well cut off there in defence by Dominic Meeson. They're going to go right back to Owen. Switch it on the outer side. This is a dangerous because, oh, well done from the back of Smash player. He kept his feet. And go in the middle. Ooh. Oh, and a good mark there from King. Going back with the flight. He knew he had to go. He just... Stuck to his guns, went back and took it beautifully. Yeah, King, Harrison, Harrison King, that was a uh, real rib breaker, that one, wasn't it? So, Bacchus Marsh able to progress using the outer side of the ground and the kick towards Willits, he spills the mark. He copped a little bit of contact at around the same time and as a consequence, the pack forms over the football and we'll have a ball up some 60 metres out from the Bacchus Marsh scoring zone. East Point lead at 17-11, 113 to 9-8-62 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. 
Really engaging game, despite the fact that there's a 51-point margin separates the two sides. The Marsh go inside, but Brown's there on practically the last line. He's got a teammate wide, and he uses Mitch Walsh, who in turn spots up a man in more space than the early astronauts. I tell you what, East Point, they've got plenty of room to move now on this occasion, and now looking to go back in board is Harry Ganley. He does so to Jack Jeffrey, who goes inside 50 now. Johnston slips and then almost takes a great mark. Called to play on. Neither player had full possession of the football there on that occasion. LaFranchi, little kick out to German. And now off by hand and now Bacchus Marsh away. Through the middle now. Kicks it out wide. Oh, it's going to be turned over. Well done from the East Point player. Hits up. The kick's just off. Rodema Onus roves the ball. Can't get the hands free. Good tackle from Owen. And we'll have a ball up 50 metres out. That was great work from East Point in the middle of the ground to get the ball back. How was the half volley pickup? Oh, yeah. I think it could have been... It could have been... Uh, Lovig. Anyway, ball back up. Burton throws on LeBouc. Talking about Lovig. Here he is. There's players everywhere inside the 50 with no man. He's going to go central. Kicks it up. Who's going to fly? Is it JJ? Jordy Johnson can't take the mark. And it's going to fall to the bottom of the pack. That was a huge fly, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when the build-up was all there, wasn't it, really? You saw it. It was almost going to happen for us. Unfortunately, not quite. 35 metres out. East goal. Good work from Kotarenko there. Just keep fighting for it. He's fought hard all day, Kotarenko. Mostly versing Burton in the ruck. It's been a good contest between those two. All up again now. Can someone erode the pack like Jack O'Mara, Jack O'Mara did before? And we'll have another ball up. 40 metres out now from East Point's goal. Need to be on the move here. Here we go. Bit of space. Oh, how good was that? Handball over the top. Jacko Merritt kicks and can't kick the goal. It's just rushed over the line. Well done from Owen. He wants to move quickly, though. Hits the kick. That's stool dryer. Now back to... Oh, no, they have to go back to Owen. Now stool dryer gets the ball. Goes across to Porter. He's got, he wants to go the outside of the boot kick. Taken in front of us in the commentary box. He's just caught. Goes up. Oh, go over the head of the Bacchus Marsh player. They're holding each other here. How's the umpire going to see it? He thinks that the Bacchus Marsh player was that being... Uh, Parente was uh, being held. He goes forward and uh, well set up behind the ball is East Point. And away with the ball is Stool Dryer again. Across the outer side. Now we have Kotarenko. Goes up. Oh, it's a big fly from Burton. And the ball, it's going to stay in just. Good job from Jeffrey there to keep. And it's going to go out of bounds. Good entertaining footy here at Eastern Oval. Tell you what, Loving's been very, very good for East Point down back. He's played some very good football today as the big men set themselves once again. Burton up against Kotarenko. Ball to ground. Bacchus Marsh. Take possession. Handball doesn't quite hit its target. Craig's in there. He's dispossessed of the football, continuing to fight on. There's Burton and also Rodemar Onus. Now they're out. Bacchus Marsh inside 50. Fisted away. Good defensive work once again by the Ruse at ground level. Sweeping handball over the top. Here's Willits. He's got three. He kicks on goal for the fourth. Bounces and bounces through for number four. The Cobras pull another one back. 46 points separate the two sides as Bacchus Marsh kicks their 10th. 10 8, 68, trailing East Point, 17 12, 114 on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard as we tick towards the 29 minute mark of our fourth and final quarter in the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. That was unlucky there on the uh, last line from Joel Van Meel. I just, just couldn't get a fingertip to it there as it uh, rolled through. Good goal, though. Well, it's third, fourth quarter goal. Well done, and here we go. Good tap from Kotarenko. Oh, and that was silky from Merritt. 
And now over the top to Rhoda McCunis, who hits up the kick. Oh, well done. That's a good mark from Joe Dodd. He's going to swing onto his left foot. Who's he looking for? I think we know. JJ. Oh, he can't quite get it over the top. That's LaFranchi to try and get the handball out. Then Owen. They're going to work this. Oh, well done. Oh, he's in and under there. And we're going to have a ball up. Just couldn't connect with the hands. Bacchus Marsh. They were nearly out. And just like he has all day, Jordan Johnson got in the way and stopped it. 40 metres out. Can he get on the move at this stoppage? Ball over the back. Good tap from Kotorenko. Now they're away back as Marsh. Ball falling in the path. I think it's going to be a free kick. It is. They're going to go. He played on though. Can he get the ball back? Over the outer side. That's Carlisle Marks. Gets dispossessed. And it's going to be a ball up or a throw in either way over the other side. The furthest possible distance from us in the commentary box. Yes, well, the uh, sun is well and truly behind the western trees here at the Eastern Oval. Very overcast now as the boundary umpire comes into play. Hurls it in. 17-12 plays, 10-8. Ball at ground level. Burton overruns the footy. The point is wrapped up in the tackle. And we'll have a ball up. As... 46 points separate the two sides as we tick towards the 32-minute mark of our fourth and final quarter. At ground level, good work by East Point. Going forward once again, chest mark taken at centre-half forward. Now they'll move it forward. Good work by JJ. Kicks towards the oncoming lead, but Bacchus Marsh do very well in defence. Oh, nice gather on this occasion by McDougal. <laughs> McDougal shot on goal! Hits the post! As the siren sounds, I think that'll count. Yes, it will. And that means that East Point finish with that behind, which would have been one of the most exciting goals of the game had we seen it. 17-13, 115 East Point have defeated Bacchus Marsh, 10-8-68. A 47-point buffer, which means that it was a very even fourth term because that was the margin at three-quarter time. And so a decisive victory for East Point over Bacchus Marsh in a most engaging McDonald's Ballarat Football Netball League, Ballarat Toyota match of the day. And just a couple of thoughts uh, on some of the better players there, Archie. Oh, yeah, there was a few going around. Um, I think that uh, for the East Point Kangaroos, you can't go past JJ, Jordy Johnson there. He kicked five goals. He, he probably had maybe eight shots at goal. He probably set up another six goals. Um, all up, coming up the ground, taking contested marks in front of him. Um, oh, it was a great performance and uh, it was a privilege to watch him. Uh, some of the other players that uh, played well were, um, I think, Jack Jeffrey went in hard all day um, and so did uh, Geordie Slater for uh, the East Point Kangaroos. And what about Bacchus Marsh, better players? Bacchus Marsh, I'd say uh, Daniel Burton. Um, he was sold in the ruck. Um, against uh, Kotorenko and um, yeah batted well all day with the, um, the clearances um, and I also thought that um, Quade Butt and Tom German both of them played well had a lot of the ball yep they sure did Jordan Johnson kicked five goals today Bryson McDougall kicked two Geordie Slater booted two Jack Jeffrey two and singles to Jackson Merritt Liam Kenny Matt Johnston he certainly let everybody know about it, didn't he? Makita Rotoma Onus kicked one. Jake Toolman kicked one. And also Tom Brown for Bacchus Marsh. It was Aaron Willits who kicked four. Three of those coming in the fourth and final quarter. Jake Owen booted two. And then the individual goal kickers included Ryan Ryland Porter, Harrison King, Rex Hickman and Tom German. So at quarter time, it was a 27-point advantage to East Point. And really, they just did stretch that advantage from 10 points uh, somewhere in the vicinity of the 20-minute mark of that first quarter. They booted the last three three goals of that first term and stretched the lead out to 27 points. At halftime, the margin was 34 points. At three-quarter time, they led by 47 points, and that was the final difference between the two teams, East Point, on the Ballarat Toyota scoreboard. 17, 13, 115, Tobacco Marsh, 10, 8, 68. That is our Carlton Draft post-game summary. On behalf of Archie Burley, who provided some 
Terrific content today in our commentary and Kayla Bloodlow who performed his magic once again in providing the live stream. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the Ballarat Toyota match of the day. We look forward to what we might be able to bring you in future weeks, but that was certainly a very entertaining and engaging contest, albeit that in the end it was a 47-point margin. East Point enjoying that victory and that difference between the two teams, finishing 17-13, to 10-8-68. I'm Wes Cusworth. On behalf of the team, hoping you enjoyed the coverage and make sure that you catch us again. And don't forget that it is now just 5 o'clock and that if you can race to McDonald's before 6 o'clock today, you can register your interest on hiring day where you might have the opportunity to gain employment with McDonald's, the sponsor of the McDonald's Ballarat Football Netball League. This is the Ballarat Toyota Match of the Day. Farewell for now.